All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is kind of sensitive, and I hope that Muslims will share with us, and they will uh, uh, give us their priceless uh, knowledge about uh, Allah. Uh, you know, there's nobody knows Allah more than the Muslims. Uh, to the point, they don't even know what the word Allah means. Islam is a very, very amazing religion. To the point, no one understands nothing in the Quran the Quran yet claim that Allah he made it a clear book and because he made it a clear book the Muslims needed to make thousands and thousands of tafsir which mean interpretation for the Quran yet they cannot explain the Quran and at the end of the day the Muslim they say Allah knows best and to make it more horrible even the Quran says that no one knows what the Quran means save Allah I'm going to publish a book soon it's called no one knows what the book of a Christian Prince means save Christian Prince and that will make my book a miraculous it's not about being you know confusing and stupid and say whatever it's about a miraculous because nobody understand it My Skype is open for any Muslim is willing to call us live on air. Please feel free. If you go on YouTube, you will find thousands and thousands of videos about where is Allah. <laughs> the funny, the Muslims, they are trying to tell us, they are trying to figure out where is Allah. How do you know even he exists? And then if you go try to uh, like to examine what they say to us in their websites, which is I find it kind of hilarious as an example here <clears throat> where is Allah okay where is Allah here we go where is Allah who is Allah if you read how the Muslim they give give us the definition of Allah you will die laughing Allah is the proper name applied to true God that's who's Allah So all what you know about your God that his name is Allah. Okay, what Allah mean? They don't know. Hmm? Who is Allah? All the excellent divine names and attribute perfection. Allah is one and unique. He has no son. Nice to meet you guys. I Allah have no son. He has no partner. He has no equal. He has no. Uh, uh, he he is the sole creator, the sustainer of the universe. Every creature bear witness to his oneness. So why Allah want to kill the pigs? If every creature bear witness for his uh, and what do you mean we bear witness for his creation? He would go. I don't bear witness. I mean, what is that? Is that a definition or this is a statement of somebody he believe blindly all the creation they believe in his oneness who, who are they, those creations cockroaches cats rats dogs goats what do you mean so you see here right away when they start trying to present their God for us they are making a statement which is silly what do you mean What does this mean? I thought you are going to tell me who is Allah. Oh, what you are saying to me, uh, an assumption, a theory, that there's a, someone you don't even know, you never met, you never heard. Muslims, they never saw Allah. They never heard Allah. They never spoke to them. Not even once. This is why I call him the muted Allah. Allah is a mute God. And not only that, the Muslim they say to us that Allah, after he sent Muhammad, he went in a strike. 
Muhammad is the last prophet. Allah is now is in a mute. <clears throat> and then if we go down, you will see. Every creature bear, bear witness to his oneness, <laughs> divinity. <laughs> And Rububiyah, like you know, supposedly the Muslims they are making for us, uh, uh, like an article, and th their article is in English, and then they say Rububiyah, like supposedly you know what Rububiyah mean. I mean, like Rububiyah, okay, what Rububiyah, and then here I info of Rub <laughs> and the unique of his attribute names. What the unique about them? He get angry, I get angry, Allah, he cheat, I can cheat too. Allah, he lie. Yeah, I can lie too. Allah is a deceiver. I can deceive too. Shaitan is a deceiver too. What is unique about the attribute of Allah? What is unique about his attribute? And then they quote for us a verse from the Old Testament, copying it and put it in the Quran, and they say, there is none like into him. But if this is the case, if this is the proof, who is he? Well, here we go. The uh, God of the Christian, they say the same. And not only that, none like me too. Do you know, according to science, that there's none like me? Does that mean I'm God? Until now, they fail to tell us who is Allah. Oh, what they are saying to us, uh, a, fans, a, a fantasy statement, like somebody who saw a dream. And then in a dream, he saw, he told us he he did not even see what he, who he's talking about. Like the Muslim did not even see the one they are talking about. Did Muhammad see Allah? No. Did he spoke to Allah? No. So what Muhammad knows about Allah? What Muhammad knows about Allah that there is a guy he came to him and he squeezed him, and he told him in the read in the name of the your Lord. That's it. How we know that the one who squeezed Muhammad is not the devil? And since when, in order to make you a prophet, I need to squeeze you. What is the purpose of the squeezing? Muslims, they take things without checking it out. An angel of God, yet he is squeezing his prophet. Why? Don't you find that this is strange? The first time the angel, he came to Muhammad, he hold him so tight and he squeezed him three times. Okay, why? And Muhammad did not even know who is the one is squeezing him. And not only that, he did not even ask him who you are. Have you ever heard of somebody squeezing somebody? He don't ask him, who are you? Stop touching me. Maybe the prophet, he used to be squeezed. So it was normal for him to be squeezed. That's why he didn't ask, who are you? Maybe the angel, he thought Muhammad is a lemonade. All the story does not make sense. If there is any Muslim want to tell us what is that is about, please let me know. Do we have any Muslim in the chat? My Skype is open in case you do not know. If you like to call me, and you are a Muslim only, please. Only Muslim are welcome to call me live on air. Anyone? Now let us go to something else. <clears throat> In the same article, they say to us 
there is no one share his dominion so what do you mean no one share his dominion isn't Muhammad he says that his name written in the chair of Allah is that the dominion of Allah the chair the chair of Allah is not even free from the name of Muhammad when a Muslim convert to Islam what he what he have to admit he have to say Shahada what the Shahada is it saying that God is Allah no you have to say Allah and Muhammad so Muhammad and Allah they share dominion not only they share the meaning of the shit that the share and the authority they share the dominion of knowledge if you go and search in the hadith <clears throat> all the hadith says that Allah and his messengers knows best is the dominion of knowledge shared by Muhammad which mean Allah and Muhammad they have the knowledge what do you mean when the Muslims and Muhammad agree with them that Allah and his messengers knows best what does that mean hmm? how Muhammad he is sharing the knowledge of Allah and you notice how they associate the name of their God with the name of the man who his name is Muhammad claiming that Muhammad have the knowledge of Allah and Allah share the knowledge of his own with Muhammad hmm? Allah and his apostle knows best you see, if I say that me and Elohim knows best, that means I am claiming that the God of the Christians and me knows best. I have the knowledge of God and no one else have it. God, he shared the domain of knowledge with me. It's not about God anymore. There's, there is others who have the knowledge of Allah. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? In the top of that, the Muslims, they say to us that Allah, he sent 124,000 messenger. How many? Don't you think the number is small? And here you see the madness. Allah, he sent 124,000 messenger and Muhammad is the last one. Why? I mean, is that fair? Mankind today, they are like guided and there's no need and that's it. 124,000, which means Allah, he was popping messengers and prophet like eggs, like a chicken laying eggs. It's like an ant. The queen and she lay a lot of eggs. Question Who can name for us the 124,000 prophet? Who is the prophet for India? By the way, according to the Quran, the yellow pages of Allah, it says that Allah He never sent the messenger except in the tongue of His own people. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ What does that mean? Chapter 14, verse number 4. And we never send the messenger save with the language of his folk. So he have to be from them, speaking their language. Not only he speak the language, he have to be from them. But this verse destroyed the whole religion of Islam. Anyone knows why? What's wrong with this verse?
What do you think, guys? What's wrong with this verse? How old is earth? That explained the huge number of prophets. My friend, your God, Allah, he created the earth, and then the earth is supposedly the history of man since the time of Adam. And the time of Adam is not long, really far. So where is the prophet? I'm asking very simple questions. India alone have hundreds of languages, hundreds, I think maybe 400 languages. That means Allah he should send 400, at least 400 messenger to India alone, 400 prophets. Name one. Can you name one for us? And this verse have a problem, big problem. Actually, Islam is shish kebab because of this verse. Who noticed what the problem with this verse? Who noticed? This is this verse is a disaster. This verse is a disaster, proving that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. If Allah He sent messengers only from the people, He have to be from them, not a foreigner, and He have to speak the language for sure. In order for what? Logical. Allah is using logic for the first time. He's getting smarter. He says to, in order to make it clear for them, that's wonderful. How Muhammad is a messenger for the Bangladesh. How Muhammad became a messenger for Zakir Naik? Is he from uh, India? Is he from Bangladesh? Is he from Pakistan? Is he from China? Is he from America? Is he from Europe? In order to send the messenger, he have to be from them. Speak the language of his folk. He have to be from the folk. Speak in the language of the folk in order to make it clear for them. That means Islam is a false cult. Because the one who speak Arabic is a very small number. And actually not all of them are Arab. And the verse is so clear. He have to be from the folk, speak in the language of the folk. Somebody saying to me, I did not get it. Okay. Muhammad is an Arab, right? So what is the folk of Muhammad the Arab? Focus with me, please. When the Quran say his folk, who is my folk? If I am an Arab, who is my folk? Who is my folk? The Chinese, the Japanese, or the Arab? I am an Arab, so my folk are Arab. So I have to be from the folk, from this group. And I have to speak their language. So in order for Muhammad to be international messenger, as they claim, Muhammad, he have to speak the language and he have to be from the group. Which means if Muhammad was sent to the Indian and India have hundreds of ethnic groups, not one ethnic, and hundreds of languages and religions. Muhammad, he have to be four, 400 Muhammad. 400 Muhammad, each one of them is born between one of the folk of this nation. Are you getting my point? And the Quran is so clear why the message will not be clear to them unless he speak the language of the folk. Do you see it? This is not my, me saying that. This is the Quran. And this is your translation. So Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad is not from the folk and he don't speak their languages. So Quran Getting Muhammad busted, showing the contradiction. And look, the Quran make it clear, we never sent. Do you see the word, we never? We never sent, no exception. We never sent a messenger save he speak the language of his folk.
Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. Uh, Bluggly, we don't want to change the topic. Let's focus on this topic in the front of us. So, here you notice that the 124,000 messenger, they have to be, each one of them, at least, speaking the language of his people. But if we go in the Quran, we will find that the most of the messengers are to the Jews. Allah did not send, well, did Allah send uh, a Muslim messenger for the American Indian? But there are many tribes and many languages. Did he send to the Chinese who there are many nations and many languages? Did he send to the Russian to what is that is about? And when the Quran says in order to make the message clear for them, that's mean Allah will not send the message unless it is in your language so you will understand it. Is the Arabic a clear message to Zakir Naik? Shabir Ali, Zakir Naik, Ahmad Didat, all of them they share one thing, none of them speak Arabic. I made a video about Didat, the funny Didat, who is making himself a scholar, but yet he do not know how to read Arabic. You believe it? So now we go back to zero. There is no way that the God, if this is a God who is saying this verse, he is the God of Muhammad. Because the God of Muhammad made it clear, I will never send a message to you unless it is in your language, with the prophet from your people in order to make it clear for you that's mean islam all of it is a garbage the whole idea here we go i remember the quran says if if, if the quran is not from allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction cp you cannot even speak a classic arabic what do you mean I can't speak classic Arabic? First of all, there's nothing it's called the classic Arabic. But if you mean the Quraysh Arabic, I speak it fluently. What does that mean? What don't speak even classic Arabic? Arabic is not really a language by itself. Arabic is many languages, it's a collection of languages. But because of Islam, the official language became the language of Muhammad, which is Quraysh. But there's nothing is called really Arabic. Most of the Quran we see in the front of us is nothing but uh, other languages. And just to show you how Islam is funny, if you remember Muhammad, he said that Allah he sent him the Quran in seven dialects. Why is seven seven dialect? Why is that? Muhammad he explained he says that because the Arab cannot understand the Quran. Imagine the Arab, who they are Arab, they cannot understand the Quran. In one dialect, so if the Arab, they need seven Quran. How somebody like Zakir Naik can understand the Quran? The Arab, they needed seven Quran, seven, not one. Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he sent him seven Quran. Read carefully with me. <clears throat> this is Muhammad is talking. Jibril, he came to Muhammad. And he said to him, Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Okay, so Allah what? Said to him, read the Quran in one dialect. Look what Muhammad said. Muhammad don't like that. He said, I ask Allah. What's wrong with this page? Keep moving, dancing. Somebody play music. I ask from Allah burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. Okay, hold on, hold on. The people of Muhammad, one tribe. It's one tribe. The, the Quraysh is a small, tiny village. It's a small tiny, actually we cannot even call it village. 
a small tiny village who speak one language and they are one tribe and they speak the same tongue and they are not capable of doing it okay so what the solution he want more Quran in different dialect then he came for the second time he who Jibreel the one who squeezed people you know if you ever see somebody squeezing you like this is you, you became a prophet so Jibreel came for the second time and he said to him Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people in two dialect what so now we have two Quran but that will not work upon this the Holy Prophet said hey hey, hey hello <laughs> what are you talking about I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah my people would not be able to do so okay so now we have two Quran still the Muslims cannot understand the Quran and they cannot even uh, like read it it's not enough Two Quran so Jibreel he came back for the third time Jibreel is like the pizza boy go back go back go back you know okay he came for the third time and he said to him, Allah has commanded you, brother, to recite the Quran to your people in three dialect. Are you happy, Prophet? The Prophet, no, he's not happy. He said to him, <laughs> no, no, oh, hold on, hold on. I ask burden and forgiveness from Allah. If my people are really very stupid. They cannot handle it. My people would not be able to do it. Then he came for him for the fourth time. Look, what is that, man? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? If the Arab cannot understand the Quran unless it is saving Quran, how someone who live in Bangladesh he can understand the Quran? And where are they saving Quran? And in this story, and then the angel he keep going backward forward until it became saving Quran. Seven. That's it. Perfect. Perfecto. Isn't it Allah all knowledgeable? Muhammad is correcting Allah order. Allah, he says, be one dialect. Don't Allah knows? Look like Muhammad is out in smart, out to smart his God. Because his God, he thought one Quran is enough. Muhammad didn't agree. Two in Quran is enough. Muhammad don't agree. Three, four, five, six. Muhammad don't agree. At the seven, Muhammad, he said, okay, now that's fine. Look what Fadi he says to me. You know, Fadi, uh, uh, I, I feel sorry for him. But look like Fadi is a is a very like he's a nice guy, but he don't want to use his brain. I think his brain is in vacation. Look, he said, well, if the Arab, if the Arab, they knew Muhammad is a liar, so how they believe in him by the sword. By the sword, don't you know that Muhammad he left Mecca and nobody believe in him. I know you're telling me uh, 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 Muhammad he joined a Sa'alik, a Sa'alik, the outlaw, the criminals who they are kicked out from their tribes. Muhammad he became their leader. Otherwise, the Arab they said hundreds of times that this is nothing but stories. Fabulous stories, fairy tale story. And you are acting as if you don't know. They accuse Muhammad that he is stealing information from many people who they live as slaves in Mecca. Assyrian slaves. Syrian slaves. Who speak Hebrew and speak Aramaic. And Muhammad, he answered them in the Quran, saying to them, and we know well that they say only men teach man teach him they knew he is because he go and listen to those guys and falsely you know because this is a clear arabic you know what a clear arabic we just show you where it says in the hadith that the arab cannot understand it how, how it's a clear arabic yet he needs seven quran i mean do you see how clear it is it's a clear arabic but yet he needs seven quran but what is behind the seven quran for reality Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same verse twice. So in order to cover his lies, he says, oh, yes. Uh, actually, there's a video made by a guy, his name is uh, Samshi. I don't know if you're him. Sham, 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 
some some she some some she something you know let's try like like sound like a Chinese so uh, Shamshi he said that there is two Muslims he was reading a hadith supposed to refute us as a Christian two Muslims they were reciting the Quran differently and they fought over it the first one he said to the other one I heard the Prophet saying it differently the other one he says to him you are a liar the Prophet did not say it this way I know how he said then they, uh, one of them he dragged the other one to Muhammad he said I wanted to kill him because he is reciting the Quran wrongly the Prophet said to him okay you recite the man recited the Prophet said okay this is correct the other guy he said but Prophet he said okay you recite now the other guy recited differently Muhammad he said to him that's correct too because this is how Allah he sent it to me he sent it to me in seven ways so Muhammad he in order to cover his ass and his lies because he cannot repeat the word of Allah twice correctly he needed to fabricate that Allah he sent him the Quran in seven ways so if I tell you a story today and to marry I tell you I tell you the story differently you cannot say to me you are lying I will tell you that Allah told me the stories in seven ways <laughs> you know what I mean this is the whole idea behind this is seven seven you know did Allah send send uh, Musa's seven uh, Torah did Allah send the Injil to Isa in seven Injil what is that and what what he mean uh, uh, my people are not able to do so so how somebody who live in Pakistan now he is reading translation is Yusuf Ali and it's enough for him the Arab who speak Arabic they are not able to do so do we have any blessing uh, from Allah for us today to send us some Muslims to guide us to the truth I want the Muslim to guide me so I can get the, the versions. I really need, need versions. Even if I go to the store, I buy ver oil, oil, you know virgin oil. I mean, I love versions. Where is the Muslims? So all this religion it does not mean any it does, it does not make any sense it's silly in the top of that the muslim they made thousands of articles about scientific mirrors in the quran amazing discovery in the quran when the quran is the most stupid book now after allah he sent the quran in seven letters do you muslims even explain the quran Do you even understand the Quran? What do you mean reference? We are showing you the reference. Reference for what? The one in the screen? Anytime you see something in the screen, you can freeze it and you can type the exact word in the screen and you will, you will find it in Google. Prophet Google is very helpful. Like even if I don't show you the reference, the numbers as an example here, it might be even better for you if you type like a sentence full sentence as exactly as it is in Google and you will find the reference who is a Muslim would like to show us something we we are willing to change the topic by the way if you are willing to show us a proof of Allah existence in any way in any mean if you can show us a proof that the Quran is a book of God please feel free and we are here not against Muslims we are here speaking against the cult of Islam I'm not against you yeah we spoke about that ABC about the death of Muhammad you can watch my previous video if you go back in my channel it says who killed the Prophet you can watch it do we have any Muslim would like to call us How are you doing, Fadi? Fadi, why you don't call me? 
my friend guys what do you think if we give a, a fadi a chance to call us and show us something powerful about Allah anything anything to make Islam look better We have a Muslim who get upset always when somebody hey, leave Islam in my channel. Hello. Hey, how are you, a uh, uh, Muslim? Salam alaikum. Are you allowed to say assalamu alaikum to me? Be honest with me. I'm Sam, man. I'm Sam. Why not? But I no, no. If you are eating carrot like a rabbit, I will hang up on you. Either you speak to me in respect, or I will hang up on you. Are you a rabbit now? Oh, one second. One second. One second. Hmm. By the way, rabbits are Muslims too. One second, one second, almost done. Okay, call me back. Call me back. Call me back. The guy is going to shock. Like he's trying to swear it fast now. This guy, each time somebody leave Islam, he called me right away. He says, this guy is a liar. He's not Muslim. He cried. He cried badly. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> and just wait. He himself will leave Islam sooner or later. If you are a Muslim and you have a knowledge in any way, and you think you can give us something solid, good about Islam, please feel free. We like to hear you. Uh, Matt, are you a Muslim? Matt Chow? If you are a Muslim, you can call me, no problem. You do not need to ask me. If you are a Muslim, call me. It looks like you are just joking here. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? So, uh, as you see, uh, by the way, do you know that the, the Muslims in Saudi Arabia, they fast one day, er they, they break their fast one day earlier? Look what happened in Saudi Arabia lately. This is the TV station of Al Arabiya, the official TV stations of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They announced that they of the end of Ramadan a day before because they saw, they thought that Mercury is the Hilal, the crescent moon. Do you believe it? They bought the telescope from the American. Look, they are waiting for the Hilal, the crescent moon. And then at the end of the day, they thought that Mercury is the crescent moon. And now all the Muslims in Saudi Arabia, they broke their fast a day before the end of Ramadan. I mean, if you have telescope and you could not recognize the, the crescent moon from different. Uh, uh, <clears throat> All right, Shikika, I'm glad that you are using the knowledge with your mother in law, and I hope soon she will leave this cult. So, what happened to this guy? Is he going to call us? <laughs> he is not answering now. Anyway, Islam is very easy to prove to be a stupid cult. 
and you do not need to be a genius to prove it and here we go we are here to change you see those who claim they have knowledge in Islam do they dare to have an open line like us and take calls I will call you like this guy his name Noaman Khan Noaman Khan he received text messages from girls but not from me can I text you can I call you what about Zakir Naik? Hmm? If we ask Zakir Naik about Allah sending messengers only if they speak the language of the people, what Zakir Naik will say? What do you think? Muslims, what do you think, Zakir Naik, your, your hero, who do not know anything about Islam, what you will say? He will come with the fabrication. Let us call him. Uh, I forgot this uh, ring will not work for him because this is a ring of shaitan. The prophet said so. Hello? Brother Zakir Naik. Assalamu alaikum, brother. I, I have a question for you. I told you. Your name is the Christian print and don't tell your name. I can't get you butted easy. I, I just take it easy. I did not change my name and did not change my voice. I'm talking to you, brother. What is the purpose of a chapter 14, verse number 4, where it says Allah never send the messenger unless he is from the people speaking the language of the people? So how the Prophet Muhammad can be a prophet for people in India or Bangladesh or Pakistan? First of all, the Prophet, he is welcome to be our Prophet and we like it. The same all would we say, I am sexy and I know it. Secondly, it's not your business. Uh, but uh, we are trying to understand what the Quran is saying, how he can be your prophet if he is not from Bangladesh or Pakistan or India, and he don't speak the language of the people. As you see, the Quran says, in order to make it clear for them. And it makes me to you. First of all, the Quran is so clear for us. And I will explain it to you. If you go to the book of Tafsir al-Bukhari, it said that the Quran is so clear. And because it said it's so clear, this is why it's very clear. Uh, but your answer is not clear for me yet. The Quran says Allah will send only messengers to those who he speak their language. And Muhammad, he don't speak your language. So how he can be your messenger? At the old day, the Prophet Adam, he came to India. And he used at that time to speak Arabic. And this is why the Prophet, he was the Prophet for India too, because we are originally, we are Arab. Ah, Adam, he came to India and India was Arab. And the prophet, based on that, uh, he is a prophet for India because originally they are Arab. Absolutely. And we can prove it for you. As an example, the Arab, they like to eat rice. We like to eat rice. They like to eat curry. And we like to eat curry. And they like women and we like women. So obviously we are one nation and you get your birthday. And don't call me again. Uh, The proof that we are all Arab, that they eat curry and we eat curry. They like women and we like women. Okay, I got the point. I like curry too. I, I mean, he put me in the corner. Any Muslim want to answer this? How Muhammad can be a prophet to India, Somalia? All the countries around the world. The Quran says Muhammad, he cannot be a prophet for them. And by the way, here there's another mistake. Does the Quran say Allah will send it to his folk? But isn't it the Quran say that Allah he sent Pharaoh, sent sorry, sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh? Is Moses an Egyptian? The Muslim they say to us the only messenger who is a messenger for all mankind is the Prophet. 
What, what does that mean? Well, Abraham, according to Muslims, he came to Mecca. Abraham was a, was an Arab. At that time, there's no Arab. <laughs> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Does Hilal mean the crescent moon? Yes. Yes. And Hilal actually is coming from the same as we explained before, where Hil Al Hil Al Al is a word meaning God, the same as Baal. Uh, is a word you mute know. YouTube. So, mute oh, oh, give me a sec. One sec, brother. There's many, many Muslims are leaving Islam, and today there's many they will leave. Are you going to call me after they call and they leave Islam? You will say to them they are liars, as usual. No, but if they lie, of course somebody has to. Ah, but them. you always you lie to me too. If they are lying, I mean, how you know they are lying? Are you Allah? No, but you can just tell. I think you are God. How you, how you can tell? The, you know, I mean, but let us go here. Listen, the prophet said that Allah told him after he squeezed him, the angel Zibril, he gave him this verse says, we never send the messenger save who speak the language of his folk so they might understand the message clearly. Yes. How Muhammad yes. then became a messenger for all mankind if he don't speak the language of the folks and he is not from the folks. <laughs> um, brother. Hmm. So what this verse is saying, it's saying a past time. It doesn't say now and in the future. Where it says, in where, it says where it says in past time, where it says that. Wait, let me open YouTube. Hmm. Is a verse now in the screen? Yeah, yeah. it's in the screen. Okay. Hmm. All right, it says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hmm. It says, and we never send a messenger safe with the language of his folk. That he might make it clear for them. So it says, and we have never sent mm. in the past time. Mm. But isn't it this is in the time of Muhammad? He's speaking now, Muhammad. He gave this verse to Muhammad, right? No, but it, it's talking about the past time. You no, know, did he give this verse to Muhammad? Now, when the Quran also says, like, no, no, no. Never hold, on. Said hold on, hold on. Did he give it to Muhammad? Never... Okay, did he give this verse to Muhammad or to a different person? He gave it to Muhammad. Okay. Talking about when Allah past. He gave this verse to Muhammad at that moment, was Muhammad a prophet or no? Alhamdulillah, of course. Okay, so he was a prophet. So he just said, and we never sent a messenger save with the language of his folk. At that moment, until that moment, we never sent. And the time of what? At the time of Muhammad being exist. So until that moment, which Muhammad is receiving this message, we never send a messenger except he speak the language of his folk. So how you say to me in the past? Yes, in the past, but in the past, in the time of Muhammad, which means in the present. In the present of Muhammad, and since that present, we never sent, yes. sent, we never sent any messenger unless he speak the language of his folk. So he have to be from the folk and speak in their language. So how Muhammad can be a messenger for the Indian? And the Quran saying clearly, in order to make it clear for them. So what is the reason? In order to make it clear for them, okay. that the Quran so if you send, if, so, if, so if you send a message in different language, Allah agree that that will not make it clear for them, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, brother, um, hmm. it also says in the Quran, hmm. it says that uh, um, if they just read the Quran, they will understand the truth. Do you understand the, the Quran yourself? Just answer, if they read the Arabic. Huh? Uh, okay, what your your prophet he says no. The, your prophet he says he asked Allah for seven Quran because the Arab they can't understand it. And here they got the hadith in the front of us. This is your go, prophet. Go, this is your prophet saying. This is your prophet saying the Arab, not the in Indian, the Arab who they are Arab. They cannot understand one Quran. They need seven Quran. So how somebody from India he understand the Quran in translation when the Arab who speak Arabic they could not understand the Quran and Muhammad himself he is saying. The, my people are not capable of doing it. What is that not capable? No, but Allah makes them now capable. Allah no, no, no. Muhammad is saying to Allah, my I people are not. Allah he said, listen, the, the hadith in the front of us. Are, are you reading? Do you know how to read? Of course, man. Okay, read. Then 
Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect one what one dialect okay what Muhammad respond was I ask Allah burden and forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it how many how many dialect you are reciting the Quran today Commence to recite to your people the Quran in, in one dialect. Mm. Upon this, he said, I uh, mm. is it Sahih? Oh, no, this is the if. And what is Zaif? I don't know. You tell me, are you saying you are to me saying Sahih? What Sahih mean? You tell me what Sahih, what Sahih mean? Sahih is somebody, Sahih is somebody eating too much carrot. What is that? Sahih? What's wrong with this religion? <laughs> I mean, look how funny this religion the religion have this have weak and strong. You that's mean your God Allah is weak too. I mean, if Allah Prophet he said that, can't Allah preserve his teaching? Why you Muslims keep fabricating stories? Why you Muslims are you saying to me you Muslims we lie about the Prophet and we fabricate a story about him and Allah he could not stop us? Your God is weak. Here we go. You are right away asking me, is it weak or is strong, brother? Which means is it a lie story or a true story, brother? Because we Muslims we write a lot of lie stories about our prophet. We lie a lot, a lot we lie. We like to lie. Do you like to lie? Why oh. you are asking me if this is weak or strong? What does that mean? Explain to the to the audience. What does that mean? So in the hadith, said the hadiths are comparable to the New Testament because the New Testament and mm -hmm. the hadiths are actually almost the same, but the hadiths are stronger than the New. That's Testament false because, because Old Testament the, and New Testament is the same. And it, it, was, it hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't have don't something. Have hold on, stop, 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 stop being silly. Have you ever seen a Christian saying that something in the New Testament is weak and strong? We don't believe that's in that. Why, that's why it's not clear. So they I'm asking you why you are saying to me that if why you must why you would, must okay. Weak. So if this so this is not it's so you, you are saying to me that the stories which is mentioned by Muhammad is not protected by Allah. Is that correct? Allah said in the Quran, yeah. He said, We have brought you the Quran. Is it now not clear? <laughs> so why and you are, word, so why this story is written there if the Quran is a clear in one dialect why you have the Quran in seven dialect it's clear it says people it says to, to your specific people doesn't say to doesn't it matter is, if the Quran is a clear in one dialect why we need seven Quran you said to me it's clear oh, no, what's me with seven Quran there are not so seven Quran there's seven there's Quran, Quran. No. there's Quran Warish there's Quran Hafiz there's Quran there's many Quran you have no idea are you sure you're a Muslim? I think you're a liar too. I think you're not a Muslim. I think you're a Sabian. Well, what's a Sabian? Sabian is like your prophet. Right? Your prophet is a Sabian. I'm a true Sunni Muslim. So, you, but your prophet is not a true Sunni Muslim. Your prophet is a Sabian. What is a Sabian? The Sabian is, is the word Sabian is those who do a, a coloring. They they color you. You know, like they put you in the water and they color you. Ink in ink, no, by water. How, how am I gonna get caught if I go into water, man? So, are you saying to me this is stupid? Well, first of all, yeah, if you look at this, it actually says this. It says, uh, I was watching the video while I was eating. Don't change the Real topic, quick. don't change the topic. Are you saying to me this is stupid to color somebody by water? It depends. It depends because in the Bible it here says. Here we go. You uh, say here we go. Now, uh, now it's depends. So, uh, what, 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 depend what, what, depend. Either you say yes or you say no. What does that mean? No. Well, well, even if in your Bible it says that um, God gave uh, 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 Moses another color when he put his hands in his bosom. <laughs> I'm asking you in your Quran, in his bosom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at your stupidity. I'm asking you, is it is it, is it correct? Is it you are asking me what is the Sabian, right? Yeah. Okay. Do Allah, do Allah, do the baptism of the Sabian. So Sabian, uh, I don't know, I don't know. You tell me. Read carefully with me. Chapter two, verse number one thirty-eight. Is this Quran? Yeah, this is Quran, but this is weak Quran. Ah, uh, not Quran strong, brother. Hmm. What does that mean? You said to me the Quran is clear. Yes. Hmm. What is the color of Allah? From Allah, it doesn't say of Allah. It's just from. 
Uh, we take our color from Allah. Okay, explain to me what does that mean? And the we best to do color. coloring is Allah. What does that mean? Oh, it's better. What? 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 What is the color? What is the coloring Allah He do? No, it's just colors. You give you color, right? What color? What is that color? Explain to me. Okay, no problem. I, I'm trying to understand. Allah He color you. He color. No, Allah don't color us. What do you mean? What you mean the color? Who you tell me. You said you said the Quran is so clear. Okay, explain to me, Allah, how He color us. What does that mean? So it it just means anything like it's it, Allah, Allah made the earth, Allah made the seas. This is not the Allah question. Made, it says it says Allah, Allah He gave you color. It says Allah He gave you color. Okay, the color is from Allah. What color in is mean? Well, are, are you atheist now that you're gonna say the color came oh, out of nowhere, not from God? No, uh, what, uh, what, what this have to do? You said to me the Quran is clear. Allah is coloring. What coloring? What and what color he is using? We take our color, so it means so. The, okay, before people. Allah, He gave us our color. What our color was? Because when you say coloring, that's mean you used to have different color. Coloring obviously is not the original. Like you steal my bicycle and then you color it. So this is not the original because you used to have different color. Allah is coloring you now. So what is the color Allah He cover and what is the new color? Well, I don't I don't see where you see that this is not the original color it's talking about. It says coloring. No, it doesn't say it's a color. You okay, take a color okay. Allah He gave you a color. Before you have the color, what do you have? No, but this end who is better than Allah at coloring? That's something different. Okay, don't you don't you think don't you give an example? Don't you think this is stupid? What do you mean? What is the best? Explain to me what is the best than Allah in coloring? What does that mean? You said to me the Quran is clear. Allah is comparing himself to a printer. I have a printer who do coloring. Allah is better than the printer in coloring. In which way? Which how? Well, well, we say we say that Allah uh, deserves every title that He's the best. This of. is another question. So this is another question. Don't change the topic. Deserve every title like what a fool? What title? I'm asking you what Allah he's saying here. He is the best of caring. He's, he's comparing himself to who? Because when you say he is the best of caring, that's mean he is but he is comparing himself to, to others. Who are the others? The, uh, anyone a level a living creature some, something. Okay, so Allah is comparing is, himself to creatures. I thought you cannot compare Allah to his creatures. Wait, are you saying that God in the Bible it doesn't say that God is the most high? He is the it most. Uh, the uh, oh, oh, so, so, when, God so when God Allah He says this is this is how the the people they speak about their God He is the most high, but a God is not the most high. He is what the word high is a, is a phrase of a statement. It's not about how high He is. There's no high because simply the, the sky around us, what is up today is down tomorrow. The earth is going around itself. So stop being a fool. Don't mix things up. Allah is the best of caring. Best of caring to who? Compared to who? Do you, all right. Do this you think an, God is the This is strongest? an action. This is an action. The action. Allah is comparing the action of carrying to who? And what coloring they do? He just gives a color, man. Like what color? Okay, black, what is the color? Give me the color. What color. is it? Okay, what is the color you are talking about? His skin color, of course. Oh, so Allah, he made us black. Allah, he made us white. But he is saying he is better coloring than others. That means there's others who make you black and white and, and uh, Asian too. Is there is others? Uh, I see what you mean, but that's not the case, brother. Ah, so let's say, let's so say I got are, a table, right? So, are, table, so are right? you saying to me that Allah here is lying when He say He is better in coloring, but He is not really better because there's no other ones doing coloring except Him? Oh, it's just at coloring in general. It doesn't say like uh, color uh, skin. Doesn't matter as long but coloring in general. That means those there's other people who do coloring in general too. So Allah is the best right. in coloring. I got, I got a good example, brother. If you let, let me say this, Azam, and then you say whatever, right? Mm. Please, please. please. All right, I beg okay. you. Okay, please. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm. So let's say, uh, Leonor, you know Messi, right? You, you guys in America, I know. You guys know soccer, right? Football? No, I don't play uh, football. But you know football? I, the only game I play is Allah. But I'm just being honest no, 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 with you. No, no, no. I play volleyball every day with Allah. I mean, he is sometimes up, he is sometimes down. It depends. So let, let us make him up now. How, explain uh -huh. to me how Allah is the best of carrying. This is my football. All right. Hmm. So let's say Messi, he plays football in uh, Spain, hmm. right in the stadium. So you are saying to me that Allah he, that... Play, is Allah he play better football than Messi. 
No, let me explain. Let me explain. Huh. <laughs> so then, as he says, he's play, he plays in the Barcelona stadium. Hmm. And then he won. He got the most most uh, goals. And then he says, who's better than me in playing football? But hmm. he doesn't say he's playing football specific in the stadium in Barcelona. In general, hmm. in whatever stadium. Hmm. So who is better than Allah? Allah, Allah is better than who? No, as long... doesn't say... Okay, you, specifically coloring your uh, skin okay, because it okay, would say you, that if, if it was saying you just, it's just, just coloring it, coloring. No problem, general, but brother. you just showed us that is Allah is just stupid because if a, a football guy who says I am the best, he is talking about obviously about football, correct? No, but let's say he made, makes five goals in Barcelona. State, no problem, yeah? but when, when, a, when a soccer guy he says I am the best, obviously he's not talking about himself being the best doctor. He is talking about him being himself the the best player in that game, correct? Okay, but, as long he is the best player, and this is the example you gave me, that's mean Allah he is claiming there's other players, but he claimed to be the best player. That's his mean that's mean he is not the only that's mean that he's not the only God. Read with me this verse. Chapter 23, no, no, verse no, no, chapter 23, verse number 2014. If you answer this one, <laughs> what if, is that, if you answer this one correctly, I will give you a big carrot. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Right. It says Allah is the best of the creators. How many creators there is? Um well, I can create something now if I want. Really, and that will make a lot yeah, but I... better than you in creation. So you join the club of creators. <laughs> All no, of no, us, no, we no, know. No, no. I can be. No, don't be. Don't be a fool. We know that Allah. He said it clearly that the creation He speak about is giving a life, not about making a table. Don't be a fool. No, but uh, so so ground is life. Trees are life. But that's also created by God. No, Allah, he said, he challenged the, the man and the genie to create even a mosquito or a fly, correct? Let me see, man. Hmm. What, do you, what do you mean, let me see, man? Chapter 22, verse number 73. Allah, he says, O mankind, uh, make like this, like this, like what? He says, you know, do you worship beside Allah something who will never create a fly? So what is the word the creation in the Quran is about giving life like creating a fly even a fly you cannot create So when Allah he says he is the best of the creators obviously he is not talking about the creating a table stop lying He is asking can you create a fly? Do you if I fail at creating something does that mean I'm a failed uh, creator? What? Uh, I'm a creator if I try to create something but I've created something different. But I try to let's say I I try to create My friend, life, man. You are not a creating I, I anything. There is invention and there is a creation. Creation is you make something come to existence. Invention is something else. Invention but I can uh, stop 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 stop, like stop fooling yourself. In the religion, when we say creator, we mean the one who create things, bring them into existence. Like example life Adam he was a dust He made him mud he breathed into him by breathing into him. He gave him life. That is a creation Otherwise the mud anyone can do mud Otherwise mixing dust and water together and I can do it But I cannot breathe into something and give it life. That is the creation So now when Allah he says he is the best of the creators Allah comparing himself to who if there is someone else he do create from the mud Creatures uh, I uh... Do you want to call a friend Probably man, hmm. what about you take a carrot? Uh, no, I already ate cards now. Uh, so like the card is not working. We need something else. What about camel urine? The prophet he ordered Muslims. Are you drinking camel urine? I think you are your weakness because you don't drink. Don't get the one that says drink camel urine. What about it? Oh, oh my! Wait, wait, brother, wait! My uh, uh mic dropped. One second, brother. Your yeah, mic right. dropped so again. No, my mic dropped for okay. my ears. So now what we would do with Allah is the best of the creators. Do you think he is lying? He is exaggerating. He is saying he is the best of the creators, but there's no other creators. He's a liar. Well, I think this is subjective, man. Hmm? You know why? Hmm. 
<laughs> no, you can do it this way. Like, I think it's subjective. You know why? Mm. Because somebody might read this, he means in general, but somebody else might read this that is like a creation. Mm. Well, it doesn't, it, since it doesn't specifically say. Okay. Um, okay, hold on. For, you know what? For, for, for life. Hold on, hold on. I, you see how, how clear the Quran for you? Obviously, it's clear. And you, I mean, the Quran is so clear. Here it says, and we have created above you seven, seven baths. What does that mean? The Quran is clear, right? There's seven ways what? above the, the uh, uh, above you. There's seven ways. What is that? Yes. Mm, what is that? And we're. I know. Maybe in the tafsir. Ah, in tafsir. I thought the Quran is clear. Okay, what about. I will give you something easier. You see, you said the Quran is clear. And we send down from the sky water. Is that true? Brother, when um, when you accept that uh, the Quran is don't change topic. Is it true? Is it true that is it true that the water is coming from the sky? Yes, from the clouds. So where is the ocean coming from? I thought the cloud is coming from the ocean. Water in measurement, and we. Can... Which one is it created first, the cloud or the ocean? No, no, the cloud. Look, 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 look. Even even before there was any water, there were no clouds. I'm asking you. So which one? Okay, no problem. I'm asking water. you. Make it simple for me. You know, I'm not smart like you. I don't eat carrot too uh, much. Which one is it created first, the cloud or the ocean? Uh, hmm. Uh, one second, brother. Hmm. Uh, could you repeat that question? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean repeat the question? I just said the question to you three times already. Okay, I will, I will squeeze this time with the question because Muhammad, he wasn't squeezed when he became a prophet. So I will squeeze you three times and give you the question. E, e, e. Now, the question is, which one Allah <laughs> created first, the cloud or the ocean? Uh, does it stay somewhere? Well, it says well, here, and we send down from the sky water in a measure yes okay yes okay so which one allah he have created first water from where it's coming from skies not clouds it doesn't say okay. clouds the skies from the sky okay no problem guys from the sky so it's not from the ocean it's from the sky but this... the, even, even even the atheists they believe that water came from a, a, a meteorite <laughs> from the sky mean from meteor yes so there's a yes, meteor saw, was full of water it. okay hold on the atheists they believe that there's a meteor full of water and dump in the earth and he's like a balloon full of water and explode. That's amazing. Now, let us see what you, also hold on, hold, hold, that, hold, uh, on hold, Iron, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. What do you say about this? You said to me that the, the sky is coming from the sky, right? Huh? You said to me it is coming from the sky, correct? Hmm. So, what, what this hadith is saying now here. That Allah, before He created anything, even before He created the earth and the heaven, His throne was upon the water. Huh? Yes, hmm. Allah ordained the measures of quality of the creation fifty thousand years before He created um, the heavens and the earth, and His throne was upon. Yeah. So what? What is the water was? There's no earth. There's no. no it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean what was created in the sky. It says. The word was brought forth to My us. My friend, the hold on, we have hold on. on. Oh, listen, listen, listen. It doesn't listen, mean the listen, general listen, world was created for listen, the sky, Abdul, brother. Abdul, listen. It says the word we have today. Okay, Abdul, listen. There's no heaven, there's no earth, but yet Allah has a throne above the water. Where was that water? There's no earth, there's, so, no, there's no sky, there's no earth. It says clearly, before he created the heaven and the earth, as his throne was upon the water. So there was no heaven, there was no earth, but yet he was in the top of the water. Where was that water? All right. Now, before I answer this uh, question, Prince, brother, mm -hmm. uh, I can, if you want now, right now, I will ask a smart Muslim Sheikh. What do you mean, smart Muslim? Are you saying, are you saying you are, 
Whoa, whoa, hold on. Are you insulting yourself? Are you saying you're a stupid Muslim? You want to ask? You want to answer? Ask a smart Muslim? What does that mean? I, I never mind him. Then never mind him. All right, all right. So what? Hmm. So let me let me ask you then. Let me ask no, you then. I am willing all to. Right. Uh, I'm willing to, to to help you if you call life right now on air. You're chic and put him in the speaker with us, so I can talk to him. Can you do that? Wait, what? Can you call your shake right now? The shaky shake, the one who do belly dancing always for you. Can you call him and challenge him to answer me and put him in the speaker to talk to me live? Yes. Okay, do it. I'm yes. Gonna, go ahead. Right now. Right now. Are you ready, though? Right now. All right, brother. Okay. All right. If, if you give me a second, man. <laughs> Why are you hanging up? <laughs> Why are you hanging up? <laughs> you will never talk to me. Why you hang up? Okay. <clears throat> oh boy. Do we have any uh, Muslim in the bushes? I mean, what is this? Uh, the Quran is so clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. One of the funny thing about the Quran that Allah in the Quran keeps saying, "Did you see? Did you see? See what? We saw nothing." <laughs> Guys, did you see how the sky is a blue? Okay, what does this have to do with you? Did you see how I created the sky? Okay, did you? No, we did not see you when you created the sky. Okay, did you show us? I mean, you keep saying, "Did you see? Did you see?" I mean, Allah is speaking to the blind people who is trying to make them believe, supposedly, and He is saying to them, "Did you see? I thought they are blind, and this is why you are trying to guide them." So what you say? Did you see? They are blind, my friend. I, I did not see. Any Muslim did see? They, they are the only nation who witnessed for something they did not so. Let us take Shahada. Shahada me witnessing. Hmm? Look at this. All of this is speaking about, didn't you see? Oh. <sighs> Any Abdul? I am not taking your call. Maybe you are blocked, Matt, because you are being silly. You are not a Muslim and you keep saying you want to take my call. Why do you want to take your call? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Now, this guy is trying to convince his sheikh to call me and to speak to me. He will never talk to me. He will risk his career, no way. Hmm? One of the funny things, uh, the Quran says that Allah, He have the knowledge of the unseen. And he can see. But if we do a little examination, we will find that Allah, he have no idea what he is talking about. As an example, Allah created from every kind, male and female. Allah is the Lord of the series because he's a Sabian. That's what the Sabian believe. Ashara, Ashara. This is why actually one of the names of Muhammad they call him 
the father of Ashara because he worship this planet and this is an old religion exist in Arabian Peninsula and they used to worship it don't you see that Allah is the one who give life and give death no I did not see did you see it don't you see that Allah is the one who make you laugh and make you whip no I did not see all of this is nothing to see and here you find another stupid statement in the Quran that Allah he claimed that nobody should pay for the sin of somebody else but in different locations Muhammad he make it clear that the Christians they will pay and the Christians and the Jews specifically they will pay for the sin of the Muslims it's a chain of contradictions and stupid stories Let us see. You see how stupid this cult? The Muslim they say to you, is it fair that Jesus, you Christians, you say that Jesus, he paid for your sin? And they quote for you the Quran saying that Allah he says that nobody should pay for the sin of somebody else Let's just change the translation because this donkey is very weird translation No, no burden person with sin shall be bear a burden of sin of another Quran okay. So what Muhammad is saying here? One of the clear signs of cult leaders, they are not consistent with their own teaching. Either nobody will pay for the burden of somebody else, or people will be pay for the burden of somebody else. Any Muslim? Which one is should follow? Muhammad teaching or Allah teaching? There would come people amongst the Muslim Muslims on the day of resurrection with a with a as heavy sins as mountain. Look how big the sin is, and Allah would forgive them, and He would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians. But Muslim, they say nobody should pay for the sin of somebody else. So why we are paying for sin of Muslims, which like mountains? I thought we will punish we will be punished for our sin Muhammad he says no this is this is a hadith hadith mean Muhammad teaching Muhammad statement this is what the Muslims call it hadith I call it pupu and this is the reference if you want it You see the the funny thing about Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut and the more the more he talked the more he get himself busted Matt is not a Muslim guys you know what let me block this guy it just became annoying Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Every statement of a Muslim trying to protect his religion does not match the same as his prophet does not match his own teaching.
how how a prophet of God he says statement against what his God told him. Any Muslim can tell us how he is a prophet is speaking for this God, but his God says something and he said the opposite. And what happened to this guy? He want to call his shake. I think he is diving in the deep ocean trying to find him. Al-Watin wal Abhar laysu min muradafat hal takallamt anha. My friend. Uh, Al-Watin, uh, uh, when a Muslim he says to you that the word Watin is not the same as the Abhar. It's just to defend and trying to protect their prophet. Which is not true. This is the dictionary, Lisan al Arab. Niyat al Qalb, Al Watin, Niyat al Qalb. It appears in Surah Al Haqqa, verse number 46. What do you want more? Al Watin, Al Sharayan al Raisi. All right? Now, we go to Abhar. Always Muslims want to try to defend. They try desperately to defend, but it doesn't work. <clears throat> Let us see. And if you have a Muslim would like to call us, he can fee, he can you know. Here we go. This is the dictionary. Al Abhar fi al Tashrih, the most or the biggest vein in the body, goes from between or the most important between the right side and the left side of the heart. Do you see it? So both of them is the same. And this is the Arabic dictionary. Yes, Abdi. Assalamu <coughs> alaikum, brother. Um, hello? Did you call your shaykh? Um, yes, but, um, but he cannot, it took but, him long but, to respond. And but then he cannot talk he said, to me. He cannot talk to me. He's busy. No, but I got somebody else then. Okay. He's not so knowledgeable as the shaykh, but he's... Oh, uh, you your know, shake uh, is a not bit more knowledgeable than me. Your shake is not knowledgeable. No, no, no. I mean, the one I'm gonna send you right now, not the shake. The shake can't talk right now. Okay, it, it, uh, he told me he can't uh, talk right now. Okay, who's going to talk, man? Hello, yes, wait. <clears throat> so, so I'm gonna throw somebody else at you hmm. this guy he's also smart he's not the uh, shake but you know he, he's smart i uh, learned some stuff from him hmm. he, 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 he debates questions sometimes hmm. but he he has also a lot to learn but he's smart hmm. so if you could add him i will uh, type his name you just in the chat. just invite him to the chat this is the best way so we will not uh, look for him just add him to the I'll chat okay how can I do that? Oh, person to forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. to to I can invite him. Yes, yes. Give me a second. And then, if you want, you can hang up, and he will talk to me alone if you want, or, or you can stay with right. us. All right, all right. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can. 
you can click at the plus sign and then that will make him invited to that yeah but I, uh, he got not the skype so i gotta add that skype now right Mm. All right, change something. Tell us this, it says. Brother, before you invite him, you have to say inshallah. If you don't say inshallah, he will never come. Yeah, 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 Allah will not allow it. Inshallah. I, I did marry 99 women and have sex with them all in one night and I forgot to say inshallah before I started and look what happened I don't have kids until now. The in the call. Yeah, I'm sorry for just taking a bit. Let me see Oh my god Don't, don't say oh my god yeah. say oh my Allah come on no. Well, I type his name if I if I press at someone I type his name it says you know I see some some other account when I type his name mm. Why is this what give me his name I would I will I will invite him give me his name I uh, Send the name on the chat Okay I add him and then I see him talk to me and whenever I press on add someone, I don't see his name then. It's weird, man. It's really weird. Weird. I told you because you're not saying inshallah. You have to say inshallah. I said inshallah. I said that. Allah control the internet, my That's friend. Not yeah. That's not the case. Yeah. Actually, he, this guy, he called me before. I have his name here. Isn't it his Muhammad Qasim? And he have. I don't know. I, uh, he, I know him for a week he or have something. An, he have an image that says, indeed, my prayer or something, right? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I think okay, so. Hang up, I will call him. Right. He did not accept the call. Hello. Yes, Mr. Muhammad. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Close your camera, please. If you don't mind. Thank you. All right. Uh, we, ha we have a hadith here. We asked your brother. He could not answer. It says that Allah, his throne was above the water before he created anything. Do you agree with that? Yep. Where was that water? So it was in a place where it's beyond our imagination. We can't comprehend it. Okay. So Allah has a throne above the water. Yep. What is above Allah? Allah does have a direction. No, no. He does have a place. No, no, no. There's a direction because if you say to me, okay, if I say now, uh, let me draw something in the screen. I don't know if you can see my screen. If I say that this is the water, okay, this is the water. And then Allah throne is here above the water. Okay. That means we have now direction. We have down and we have up. Yeah, so we have a direction of um, we, we have a direction of the throne and the water. All right. But so we don't have the no problem. Yeah, we don't have so the what direction is, what, of, uh, so no problem. Allah. In the direction of above the throne, what we have above the throne? Nothing. Like is that is are speaking of knowledge or speaking like you're just guessing? No, this is uh, with the verses of Quran where Allah says He does istawa on the arsh. Mm. Uh, we said that that refers to like His authority. Mm. So we don't say literal, um, and it's not like literally Allah uh, sitting or something like that. No, it says that He is sitting because the Quran says, you see, the word istawa. It's mean He level Himself. It does not mean that not He said He said. And same time, the Quran says that Allah. Is carried by eight uh, mountain goats. Eight what? Eight mountain goats. 
the eight angels the the carried the throne they are mountain goats how the mountain goats well i don't know your, your prophet he says that are you making fun of your prophet my friend let's have a look okay let us see <clears throat> All right, read with me carefully, please. <clears throat> Uh, the hadith here is saying there is like seven heavens above the earth and the heaven which is above at that similar distance go and tell the count seven heaven above the seven heaven there is a sea this is the water we are talking about and the distance between uh, whose surface and the bomb is like the distance between the heaven and the next Above that, there is eight mountain goats, and the distance between their hooves and the henches is like the distance between the heaven and the next. And above that is Allah. Do you see it? So Allah is carried by eight mountain goats. But it doesn't say he's carrying anything. He said above that, is, above that, that eight mountain friend, goats, he is the distance them. between. He is above them. Right, so he's uh, beyond that. So no, he's, no, he's he is, no, he is above them. So he's always all about the interpretation okay. of the above. No problem. So, uh, are they, okay, let, let's, let's, let us make it clear. Are they carrying him, those eight goats? No. They are not. No. Okay, let us go to the Quran. You right? can't carry okay. how can you carry God? No problem. You tell me here we go. The Quran That's says efficiency. my friend, the Quran says they carry him. You said no. The Quran don't agree with you. Chapter 69, verse number 17. It says, and they carry him. Let's look at the verse. And those angels are goats, according to your prophet. So at the edges there is eight and there's angels and they are carried by eight. The eight, according to your prophet, they are eight goats. So they are carrying it. No, so they're carrying the throne of Allah. They're okay, not carrying but Allah, Allah is above the throne, right? No, well, he's not. He's not uh, is Allah physically in, above. Is Allah in the side of the throne? No, I said he's not physically above. This is uh, okay, related so to Allah, so um, Allah physically his authority. So, to his authority. So, the, so the throne of Allah is empty? Yeah, it's empty. It is empty. Yep. Oh, I don't so know what's going to be on top says, of it. Where the Quran says, وَعَلَى الْعَرْشِ اسْتَوَى And on the throne, he lived himself. Yeah, that's like that's what you said. He refers to his authority. He doesn't refer to literally. No, no. Who said that? Who is the one who says to you? Yeah, authority? yeah this is a principle. Okay, hold on. This hold, is hold, a principle. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But Allah, Allah was creating the earth and the heaven before he left up to the throne. So if the throne is the authority, that's when Allah, he left the authority there and he have no authority to create anything. But the Quran says that Allah, he created the earth and then he created the heaven and then he went and he leveled himself upon the throne, correct? So what does this have to do with the authority? He have the authority wherever he go. Are you saying to me that the throne of Allah is a metaphorical statement, is not a physical throne? No, it's, it's a it's a physical throne. Okay, so it's a physical it's, throne, uh, so it's not an authority. That physical it's throne doesn't authority. mean that Allah is doing okay. uh, sitting why, on it. Why it refers Allah? to that Allah established his uh, his uh, dominance, like in the sense uh, he established his um, authority. Friend, in that sense, it, why, so you mentioned like Allah, just how a king has just has a, how a king has and a queen has like a throne. Yeah. It's it's um it's, it establishes a authority like who's who's in charge and what. Okay, so do Allah need a throne to have authority, or he have authority authority anyway? He has it anyway, but it doesn't it doesn't matter if he wants to establish a throne. Is the throne of Allah created by Allah, or it exists before his creation? Uh, he was never created. So who, where Allah he got the throne from? He created it. Okay, so do Allah have authority before he created the throne or he don't have authority? 
he has, but this is a you can you can call it like a symbol of uh, authority. But you said this is this is a throne which is physical. Yes, physical. So yeah. why Allah He will need a physical throne if He will not sit in the throne? It's it's just to show um, show who just to, the the angels or you can you can call it people as well. So why the angels why the angels are carrying the throne if there is nobody in the throne? To show the authority, like okay. the throne is if so Allah massive. Is not, if Allah, it's, it's the if size Allah is, is not so massive and it, it makes people. What do you mean? Uh, what do you, what you mean know, show the amazed. authority? What do you mean show the authority? He is the one who created them. What more they want? I mean, he is God, and he is God with a throne or without a throne. Show what authority? This is funny. That's, are you saying to me that God will not be respected unless he have a throne? He will. He will still be respected. But I'm okay. saying this is so what does, something what, what intended to do it. So that's his choice. We don't uh, dwell in why. I mean, how, okay. how do you know why? Okay. Let, us go, you let us go back to zero. Hold on. When we spoke about Allah is above the water, and we noticed that Allah is above eight mountain goats. Why? Why there are eight mountain goats? Obviously, they're not uh, literal uh, mountain goats because no, they it, are. Just the says, the because says, who, is, who is hooves? Do you know what hooves mean? Yeah, but it starts off with uh, telling you the size of places. It probably refers no to problem. some sort they of size. They are huge. They are huge, but they are goats, and they are. They have hooves, and they have hunches. Does it say that or no? Yeah, so okay. it, maybe what, it's referring to something. What is the use of those eight goats? Allah knows best. Allah knows best. Okay. Yeah. I ask you, who is above Allah? There's no... Allah does have a place, He does have a direction. No, we have direction now because as long as He is above those, it means there's direction. The second you say above, it means there's down and there's above. Yeah, but if it is metaphorical, then it, then it doesn't it's not refer metaphorical, to anything. My friend, why yeah. you keep saying metaphorical? Since when? I ask you if the throne is a physical, you say yes. So how is metaphorical? It's not metaphorical. So now as long as the, the throne is a physical and Allah is above the throne, that's mean it is not metaphorical. You said to me the throne mean authority. No problem, but it's physical still. So the throne mean authority, but it's a physical throne. Is Allah himself is a physical? No. Allah is not a physical. The, the, the word physical won't be used with Allah because uh, he's beyond our comprehension. So when when the prophet, he says Allah pro, uh, that Allah, he will put his foot. Is the foot of Allah is fiction or it is real? So, where, okay, let, let's establish a principle. So we have a principle in Deen, wherever we, this verse is talking about uh, movement or Allah's hands or shins, mm. we all of them will be, um, uh, the meaning of it is not known to us. It could refer to a metaphor, it could refer uh, to something never, like that. So I with, never with saw, the port, for I example, never, I never the saw, my friend, I never saw a Muslim scholar, he said this is referred to metaphor. Where do you get this from? This is uh, are the, you, actually... Are, are, you a Muslim the Sunni? are you a Muslim Sunni or Shia? Sunni. So why you are saying metaphor? There's no Sunni believe in metaphor about the part of Allah. Allah have hands. Allah have foot. Allah have. I can play for you. I can like. I can play all for you. The one you like. Yeah, all yeah. of them. They they, say, yeah, they Salafis. Yes. So yeah, that's one. That's one uh, no, 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 valid no, no. interpretation. Forget about Sunni. What Salafi? No, not Salafi. This is the, the your prophet. This is your prophet. Your prophet. He said clearly. Allah he put his foot over the hellfire, and the fire will say, "Are there more to come?" Tell Allah he put his foot over it. And it will say, Qati, Qati. Enough, enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I came across it before. Mm. So, is that a real foot or not? No, it's not literal. How you know? There's, there's, based, on, there's, yeah, based on the principle of Islam. What the principle? Where is the principle? Show me where in the principle it says that Allah is not physical. Uh, the verse where Allah says uh, uh, there's, the vision cannot encompass him. There's nothing like unto Allah. So as soon as you say a hand, foot, it, 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 it's a, you're given likeness. So it, whenever these verses talk about it, we would say it's not. It, uh, we would negate that he has a foot, and then we would then we then we would uh, give a uh, metaphor. So it might be a metaphor. It might be like to stop it. So by foot meaning that to stop it, my not uh, literally for his foot. My friend, it. does the Quran say that Allah have a shin? Yeah. Okay, is that shin metaphor or it's physical? It's not physical, it's a uh, it's metaphor. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, let us examine this. This is in the Quran, chapter 68, verse number 24. We will go to yeah, the he's, hadith. Yeah, we, he's gonna reveal his we, shin. We will go, so, okay, his shin is what? 
What his chin? Is it authority too? You could refer to his glory. You could okay. refer to the glory of Allah, uh, his, the glory of himself. The, the glory of Allah in his chin. No, you could refer to himself. The shin could be like uh, himself. He's going to reveal himself. So people will see him on the day. Uh, you know, all, all people will see him in paradise. No, what, what, okay. Is that a shin really or a metaphor? You said it's a metaphor. But Allah, he will show his shin. They will see him literally. Are they going to see him or they will not see him? Yeah, they will see him. Okay, so this is not a metaphor. I'm saying the shin refers to himself. It's a, uh, it's not literal shin. What do you mean? It's not literal. They will see him. They will see him as a shin. So, so like, I've just explained to you. We have a principle. By that, we. My friend, we you are you are confusing yourself. Is the shin of Allah metaphor or it's a physical shin? It's it's not physical. It's a metaphor. Okay. So it refers to but, it refers but to you, something. It could be you say, refers to himself. But you said will, but you say they will see, Okay, but you said they will see him. Yeah. Okay. They will see what exactly? That's, we haven't seen. We haven't seen him. How can I describe him? No. He said shin. He said he will lay down his shin, bear his shin. He did not say it's a metaphorical. No, where he says that. In the same time, he says they will see him. During the lifetime of the Prophet, they came to him and they said to him, Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? The Prophet said, Yes, you will do. See him. And then he explained, Are you going to have difficulty to see the sun in the midday? day? They said, No. Are you going to see the sun, the, the, the difficulty to see the moon? They said, No. He said, This is how you will see Allah. And then Allah, He will come to you in a shape. Is that correct? Um. So the narration says something like that. I'm asking you, is Allah, do Allah have a shape? Nope. So th this is beyond, uh, like, this, this narration is so, beyond our comprehension. So how I, how I, will it thought, happen, the okay. house and okay. whatnot. So. I thought in my understanding that Allah has a shape. So anyone who believes that Allah has a shape is wrong. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're wrong. They can't believe that. All right, guys, did you hear it? He said, anyone believe that Allah has a shape is, a, is wrong. And obviously, he's a, have a false teaching. That's Muhammad. Because Muhammad is the one who says Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they saw first time. Read it with me. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that this no, no, what you're saying, my friend, my friend, shape. don't change the topic. You just say the one who believe Allah has a shape is wrong. You're a prophet saying yeah. Allah has a shape and he will come to you in a shape. You said to me, and I ask you clearly, do you think the one who believe that Allah has a shape is wrong? You said yes. Muhammad, he says, Allah will come to them in a shape nearest to the picture that they had in their mind, according to the translation. Yeah, so when he says, uh, for example, he says here, yeah, the, the Lord of the worlds will come to them in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their minds about him. Mm -hmm. be, uh, so it, it could refer to Allah presenting a picture to them. So in that sense, uh, Allah no, comes no, to but them. They, but they so will see, it doesn't, you have, say, to, it doesn't you see, have to be like, literally how Look how, fast, how, look how fast, look how fast you change your statement. You said to me, the one who believes that Allah has a shape is wrong. Muhammad, he says, he will come to them in a shape. So he is inside that shape, and that shape is physical. When you say shape, it doesn't, say that. It doesn't say that, though. No, it says that shape. The word shape is a dimension. The word shape is a dimension. And you know that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I know the okay. shape. I'm so Allah is, is, where, where is Allah? Allah has where, a shape where, is wrong. Where is Allah? Allah is inside that shape. Do you agree? No. Nope. Well, it says that. Read with me carefully. Allah will come to them in a shape. In a shape. So he is in that shape. It's in front of you. What do you mean now? It could also refer to Allah will bring a shape. You see, you see, you keep saying to me it could be, or it could be. Well, this is there's no it could be because in the front of us it says no. It says you you will see him by your eyes, and he will come to you, which means he's coming moving physically, and then he is coming in a shape. So what is could be? What is the possible? Yeah, it, could all, be? Yeah, it all depends what the narrator intended when he narrated the hadith. So okay. when he, what, was he what intending What do you mean that, narrated the uh, hadith? This is your prophet talking. Let me ask you, how many shape Allah have? He does have a shape, I just told you. He have no what? He does a, who Allah does have a shape. It, it says here the prophet says Allah has a shape. I just explained to you. He, he refers to like you did not Allah explain to me. No, he said your prophet says Allah will come to you in a shape. You are saying to me he don't have a shape, but the prophet says he have a shape. 
and not only that Allah have to shape it let's prove it to you you're a prophet say Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and will say I am your Lord they will say we seek refuge with Allah from you do you agree with your prophet yeah, I explained to you, so you don't want to, uh, uh, like Allah doesn't have a ship. Okay, so what, he's, the he's, gonna present, he, he's gonna present something to them. So it might be a, a image or shape, or it could be, yeah, like a shape. It could be, he's gonna present something to them that, that they're gonna think that uh, he's uh, my friend. The word uh, that, is so clear. Shape. Let us uh, stop playing games. It says Allah will come to them in a shape. So that shape is Allah. It did, he did not say he will send them a shape, he says Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know so he is coming who allah in which case in how in a shape which they know and will say he will say i am your lord so that shape that shape will say i am your lord i'm allah so why you keep saying it's not a shape Okay, I'll look, I'll look into it more, find out what's the explanation for this. No problem. How many shape Allah he have? He does have a shape, I'll just explain to you. <laughs> I mean, my friend, you are really funny. Uh, <laughs> Why you keep saying to me there's no shape and the, the Prophet is saying, Allah will come to them in a shape. Allah, he will not send a shape. He will come to them in a shape. So Allah now he have a form and that form is a shape and he will say to them. I am your Lord Who is talking the shape which is who Allah and you keep saying to me that there is no shape Yes, yeah, it's, it's based on the usul of the Quran. What usul of Quran? Usul of what the usul of Quran? Qaeda. What usul of Quran? Where is that? Show nothing me. Like unto Allah. So what nothing, nothing like, like him? Unto Allah. Who said there's something like the shape who said that the shape like something else who care? It does uh, say like you are assuming that the shape is like me or like you we, we did not say that he says he will come to them in a shape So why you are uh, jumping to to make a uh, this statement? So Allah will come to them in a shape. We do not know what the shape But yet the Muslims He will come to them in a shape which they know and they will say to them I'm your Lord and then they will say for sure you are our Lord. How many shape Allah you have you have two shape. Is that true? Nope, I'll find out more about the narration. No, before um, you find out, here we go. It's in the front of us, my friend. It's in the front of us. Because Allah, yeah, he, first time, He will come to them in he, a shape. Hold on. Yeah. Allah will come to them first in a shape other than the one which they know. And uh, the Muslims will refuse Him and they will believe His shaitan. Read me carefully. When Allah, He come to them in a shape which they don't know, Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say we seek refuge by Allah from you, and you know this is our place which we will not follow you. Your shaitan. So you Muslims, you refuse what in this Allah here? What is the rejection? That is something fake is going to be presented to them. I'm asking uh, you, what is the rejection? Why you are rejecting Allah now? Allah is coming to you in a shape. What is the what is the what is the reason for rejection Allah here? Why you reject him? He says to you, I am, I am Allah your Lord. You say to him, no, you are not. We seek refuge from Allah with from you, which means you are shaitan. Why you Muslim think he is shaitan? Why you reject him? Yeah, like I said, I need to find out more about the narration. You need to find out. Okay, you know what? It's very clear, but you can't answer it because Allah here have two shape. One shape, which is the shape of the devil. And that's why they thought he is. The devil and they say we seek refuge the Quran say clearly that seek refuge when shaitan he whispered to you It was was khannas So when you say we seek refuge by Allah from you, that's mean you are saying to Allah you are shaitan And we will not know no, even if you take it literally uh, that he, could, he has a shape and all that it, it, That doesn't prove your point in the sense that because all he's saying is that Allah's gonna um, if, if you're gonna take your perspective on it, so he's gonna come in a shape then he's going to uh, you know, a show a show my image. For example, what they had in their mind. So, so when they seek uh, seeking refuge, they're seeking refuge um, uh, from from basically the image that, that they gain uh, post portrayed. Mm. But the, the, but the, the hadith saying, Allah will come to them in a shape. He is not saying I will send you an image as you claim. So your statement is false because he he himself coming, Allah will come. 
This is the coming Allah, which is in a shape. Not Allah will send them a shape and the shape will talk to them. So your statement is false. Secondly, from the beginning of the story, it says, they said, are we going to see Allah? He did not say to them, are we going to see someone who present Allah? No. The question was, are we going to see Allah? He said, yes. And he said, even, do you have difficulty to see the light of the moon when the night is clear? They said, no. He said, this is how you see Allah. So they are speaking about seeing, he compare Allah, seeing Allah to the moon. Moon is a physical, the sun is a physical. So don't tell me we are we cannot compare because you're a prophet compare. Secondly, when Allah, he come to you in the shape, why he is rejected? He said to you, I'm it's Allah. The yeah, if I take your perspective, so it will be Don't stop, um, my friend. Stop saying your stop saying your perspective. This is what your prophet saying. This is not me. Read with me carefully. They said to him, "Are we going to see Allah? Not imagine Allah. Are we going to see Allah in the day of resurrection?" Some people said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection?" He said, "Do you uh, do you crowd and squeeze each other on looking at the sun when it is not hiding by the cloud?" They said, "No." He said, "Okay, do you crowd and squeeze each other to looking on looking at the moon when it's full and it's not hiding in the cloud?" They said, "No." He said, "This is how you will see your Lord." So this is about seeing him, and he is comparing him to a physical object, the sun and the moon. So stop saying to me, "This is your perspective." Secondly, when the when the hadith says Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew, this is not an imaginary. This is he is he's telling you a fact a statement of movement Allah will come Allah is coming Allah is not appearing Allah will come Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and he will say I am your Lord in return the Muslim will reject Allah and they will say we refuse you we seek refuge by Allah against you which means they believe he is a devil question why they refuse Allah so they don't refuse Allah, they refuse, they refuse the image that's like other person or Thank whatever uh, in their mind. Thank you. Guys, they refuse the image of Allah, the shape of Allah. Why they refuse the shape of Allah? No, this, I'm, just, I'm just saying that that's your perspective. So I'm, I'm stop saying on that my perspective. This is not my perspective. Even, then you're, wrong. It's Even then you're wrong. It's in the front of us and stop playing games, please. It says he will come to them in a shape. Who is the one is coming? It's not an image walking by itself. It is Allah coming. Allah in that shape and yet the Muslim they will reject that shape. Why? Google is not helping. I wanted to answer that. Yalla. So what's your next point? My point that you Muslim worship idols because here we go. We change the shape of the idol. You don't follow the idol. Unless he come to you in a shape which you approve, you will not follow him. Even he is himself Allah. Muslims are pagan. They worship idols. So anyone, he come to you, in a shape which you like you say okay you are our god when your god himself he come to you even he is allah just because he changed his shape you spit at him you call him shaitan you say we seek refuge with allah from you which means you are shaitan just because he changed his shape so you must tell you follow who you follow a shape Nope, like I said, he's going to be presented to them. So, he's friend, going to be, so Allah, matter, is that Allah? Allah is that will, Allah? Uh, is that Allah? That. Is that Allah Himself, the one you say to Him, we seek refuge with Allah from you or someone else? No, that's not Allah. What do you mean, that's Allah? Allah will come to them. Read with me. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew and will say, I am your Lord. They say to who back? They say to Him. They say to Him, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Yeah, like I said, I need to look, look into it a bit more, but I'll find <laughs> out. Um, I'll probably get back to you soon. <laughs> All right, no, in a week. My, no problem, my friend. Feel free to call me anytime. You can go and search in Google, call your shake, and call me back. All right. All right. Okay. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>
followers of shape followers of shape pagan the pagan god he changed his idol they don't like it they throw rocks at him and they don't like the shape of jesus we refuse him we follow shape we are people who worship shape follow shape bow down to shape and if that shape did not come to us as we like that shape we will throw rocks at that shape even if it's allah this is what the story is saying a clear proof that islam is a big fat cult right it's obvious and no wonder you refuse jesus you don't like his shape he come to you as a man you refuse allah himself so why you will not refuse if allah if you agree that allah is your god yet just because he try, he changed his shape you spit at him that's the, the whole crime allah he did now here what he did he just changed his shape muslim do not recognize their god by anything except the shape this is what the whole story is saying to us we are shape followers we are shape followers and the funny it says Allah will come to them in a shape he says to us that Allah is not a shape but it says in the front of you And yeah, obviously Allah is inside his creation because the because Allah when he changed the shape He created and by the way, what happened to the first shape when Allah he have the second shape Now Allah have two shape. What happened? We have to Allah now We have to Allah And why Allah is doing this Secondly if the Prophet of Allah he says to us that Allah will change his shape in the judgment day why we still we will say to him you are not our Allah I mean the Prophet he told us he would change his shape so we should say yeah we know we know the game already <laughs> it's like we watch a movie before it happened you know what I mean as long as he told us what Allah will do why in the day of resurrection we will say to him no 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 you are not our Allah we know Allah he told you that this is Allah I mean do you see how silly the story guys People, do you understand how silly the story? It's like saying to you that the Christian prince, he will come to the house tomorrow and he will be wearing Santa Claus clothes. And then when he come, you say to him, you are not sent, you are not, not a Christian prince. He told you this is a Christian prince. He's just wearing Santa Claus clothes. What you are saying to him, you are not Allah. He told you. What a stupid story. So now we know that he is Allah, yet we are going to say to him, you are not Allah? Any Muslim? And when Allah, he changed his shape, you know they will say oh uh, for sure you are our god he say i am your lord and then allah will come to them in a shape they know huh what is the shape you know what is that what is the shape you know giraffe elephant you just told me we do not know the shape of allah and allah is not a physical being and nothing like allah so how you know his shape Do we have any Muslim feel like you want to leave Islam as usual? Who's next when I leave Islam? This is religion. This is the most confusing, funny, stupid stories. So they say to us, how you worship a man? We don't worship man. We worship God. Can God be whatever he wants? Can God be a man? Or he cannot? 
so when Allah he become that shape can he become that shape or he cannot they will say yeah he can he can <laughs> and whatever that shape is obviously it's ugly because he is ugly to the point they reject him to the point they thought he is shaitan what he have horn he have two horn in his head his his shape is rejected to the point they believe he is satan what is that shape and why allah even doing this game what the point what the point of this Any Muslim? Well, all Muslims they make video. They say Christian Prince is wrong, but nobody can answer me. I go to sleep. They start making comment. When I am live on air, as you see, I need to search. We ask them to call their sheikh to call me. Their sheikh they start shaking. What a funny religion. And by the way, until now, nobody answered us. Where was Allah before the seventh century? <laughs> you know, the funny Muhammad, he said, between me and Jesus, 600 years, 600 years, Allah was taking a nap. All right, let's see this gentleman here. Answer, please. Well, he's not answering. <clears throat> what do you think, Muslims? Any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge? He can prove me wrong. This is a very stupid cult. And look how the Muslim they try to make it like uh, they, they, they water the question. Maybe it could be. It could be maybe, maybe, you know, maybe religion of maybe. When they want Allah have a shape, when they want Allah don't have a shape. Is the one who have a say uh, the uh, Allah has a shape is wrong? He says yes. We showed him that he's a prophet saying that. He said it doesn't say that because now it's too late. No, it says that. If I am, I contacted you before. I called you before. You start playing for me love songs. Obviously, you are from San Francisco, Fahim. When a man he play for a man love songs, obviously something wrong with him. Do you remember Fahim? Fahim is a Muslim guy who play for me love songs. He, he challenged me to call him. I call him. He play for me love songs. Same as he's a prophet. What do you mean I have not done Zakir Naik? You are late. We we call Zakir Naik and he answered and he, he told me if he told me if you call again I will call I will call the police for you. I did, I did, and I called the guy who gave me his ID to call him. Uh, a, a tribe tip beer. I don't know how to read your name. Tip beer. Beer. I did. He did not answer.
Then actually, Zakarnak, if he come here, he can destroy us, all of us. If you remember when they asked him why a Muslim woman, she can't be a prophet in Islam, uh, you know, he gave him an amazing, beautiful answer. The third day I'll cook with him. Why in Islam, there's no women here, the prophet? And actually, I confirm that. In Islam, there's no women here, the prophet. And there is a logical learned for them. And I agree level. If a woman in Islam, she became a prophet. They have to lead the congregation. And if read the congregation, they have to do to do and we do. And if you do to do and do, everybody will look at her ass. And this is why a Muslim woman can't be a prophet. Translation. If a woman she came prophet, she have to lead the prayer. If she lead the prayer, she have to bow down. If she bow down, all the Muslim will look at her ass. May Allah ask you. This is the reason a Muslim woman she can't be a prophet because of her ass. So she lost. She is over qualified or she is not a qualified. <laughs> Imagine someone applied to work as a prophet and in the resume it says she have a nice ass and they say to her you are over qualified for the job because your ass is so beautiful. <laughs> and the Muslim like wow look brother at this answer brother did you see brother and the other Abdul like sitting like next to other like brother how he can come with this this is genius. Our brother here is a genius. What a crazy cult. And by the way, even the hadith confirmed that the Muslims, they cannot pray to Allah if they see a nice bum in front of us, in front of them. If you remember, uh, a bunch of Muslims, they come to the Caliphate uh, uh, Uthman. And they told him, we have an imam who is an imam of a fitna, which means imam of temptation. They claim that this imam is tempting them and he is seducing them. I went to Uthman ibn Affan while uh, he was, be, like, you know, he, he became the, the caliphate. And he said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims in general. And you see what has failing to be failing to you. We are led uh, by the prayer by a leader of fitna. R read carefully between two brackets. Trials, afflictions, etc. <laughs> and what, what's wrong with him? He is an effeminate person. He is what? Infinite and, and and the caliphate says oh still you have to pray behind them question to the Muslims How those Muslims are tempted by a man who is a feminine man a gay? How they are tempted unless they are gays too? How a gay if he is bowing down in front of you how you get tempted unless you are a gay Unless all of them they are gays Because in order for a man to be tempted by a man he have to be a gay too Correct? So they are coming to him and saying, Oh, this guy is tempting us. How he tempt you? Unless you are like him. So supposedly now they want to show the caliphate that they are not gays. The Imam is gay. But obviously you are a gay. And the caliphate is a gay because he said there's no problem. Pray behind him. So what? Do we have any Muslim here? When a man, he got tempted by a man, obviously he is what he is. I understand that a man can be tempted by a woman. That's normal. But a man to be tempted by a man, it means both of you, you like it. The one who is tempting you and the one who is being tempted. <laughs> Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Good. 
Or was that? So are you a Muslim? Uh, yes. You are a Muslim. Yes. I know. I was looking at your text. Uh, are you sure you are a Muslim? I think so. You are laughing. So Allah told me. No. I know. I sound like you are just uh, calling to be a comedian. Are you no. really a Muslim? Yes. Okay. What do you know about Muhammad? But Muhammad? Yeah. Uh, he's a messenger of Allah. What his message? His message is that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? It, it means that there is one God and that hmm. Muhammad's message is the authentic message of Allah. So there is one God. So why Allah? He says he is the best of the creators. Ah, it's it's a symbolic language about uh, about the angels. What about the angels? That that they are uh, uh, co-creators with Allah. The angels they create too. Uh, with Allah, they really? help form. Okay, yes. what what they create? What the angels created? Ah, uh, so so they help him create the world. Really? But like what? Where where do you get this information from? Ah, uh, it is from Allah Himself. Where? Oh, he speaks to me. Where, where? Allah, he speaks to you. Yeah. You must be a messenger too. Ah, uh, yes, I think so. Did he squeeze you too, or he squeezed only Muhammad? No, he, he no, no squeezing. No squeezing. Do you think something wrong? I mean, don't you think this is missing? Uh, uh, uh no, no, it's not his complete message. That's that's why I'm here. Oh, uh, so you are a prophet? Yes. Mm, okay, well, nice to talk to you. We don't have time for trolls. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Some people are looking for attention, you know. Poor people. Attention, attention, attention. When you are empty, you have nothing inside you and you want to be seen. You need to seek attention. Some people, they make their skirt short. You do the opposite of what people do. You, know. you can go in the wrong highway. Once there was a guy from my country, which is, you know, next to Brazil, like Saudi Arabia, you know, next to the border, and uh, Iran and, you know, uh, South America. Uh, he was driving in the highway in America and he heard in the news the radio station saying that attention attention there's a guy driving in the wrong highway etc so this guy he was saying he's an Arab like me he was saying to himself <laughs> stupid station <laughs> one only say two say three say four say five say six <laughs> say seven say eight it's not only one in the wrong direction all of them they are in the wrong direction because obviously he is the one taking the wrong highway and now he is thinking that all those people are coming in the wrong way hello hello yes is there any volume anymore or not no, i think um, do this speak do you hear me? Yeah, but uh, I, I can I... hear you, but very slow. It's not trying to fix fix the. Is that speaker? Uh, can you hear me now? I hear, I do hear you. Uh, but it's really coming when it's slow. Ah, uh, anyway, put it on your ear. No, I want. Not the light. There. Uh, where it is um how you doing i'm fine my friend how i can help you oh, that is much better now all right um i don't want to go i i heard your few questions and answering first things i want to make sure that i'm not going to do any debates with you i don't debate my friend i never debate yeah, I, Muslims, I just want to discuss because Muslims something are not qualified you. to debate. I just try to help them having a short conversation with them. I'm not debating Muslims. 
Uh, yes, okay. uh, that's fine. I have no intention to debate with you. No problem. OK, my first question is to you that uh, as I I'm representing Islam and I'm a, I'm a Muslim. Hmm. What does that mean? What does that mean? You're a Muslim. Uh, that doesn't hmm. matter. No, I am a Muslim. Matter. I'm f it matter. I want to know what you say. I'm a Muslim. What does that mean? I am following Islam. What does Islam mean? Islam means peace and obedience. Where it says that? Hmm? Where it says Islam means peace? Where do you get this from? In the dictionary? What dictionary? I am an Arab. We don't have such a thing in dictionary. The word Islam in Arabic means to surrender. Okay, there are a few meanings. It could be multi meanings. No, the word peace in Arabic is salam. The word Islam yes. is totally the opposite of salam. Yes, you have. So uh, in, I... in English, you say known. What do you do? You put a letter before it. It says unknown. So Islam is not salam. It's the opposite. Islam. You surrender in war, not in peace. That that is the things you are. You are from Arabic. You are telling one side meaning. There is another meaning that the rest no of the world not. I'm asking you to show me where he gets from. Are you are you just a person who copy paste? I I am assuming that you are a mature adult man, and you know what are you no. talking about? So where you get this from? I'm, okay, okay, fine. We will stop that matter here. Hmm, you, okay. I will call you back later on, and I will find where it says that Islam means is peace no and obedience. Okay. 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 I'll find and then I will come back to you. Okay, we will stop here. Yeah, don't hang up. And no, now, no, no, no. Okay. What, what do you want to say to us? Okay. I'll call you back tomorrow. I'll call you back tomorrow. No, no, no. no. Do Continue. What do you want to say to us? I want to hear you. You call me. I want to hear from you. What do you want to say to us? Okay. Now you will tell me what does Islam means. What Islam, what, what is what Islam, is wrong is, with is, me that I am following Islam is Islam, wrong. Islam is a religion of war and violence and killing. Your prophet he says I've been ordered to slaughter all mankind unless they convert to Islam. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Okay, so how you say to me Islam is, is peace? If I just say to you, you're a prophet, he said, I am ordered to slaughter all mankind unless they convert to Islam. And you, But you just said to me Islam is peace. How Islam yes. is peace, but you want to kill all mankind unless they convert to Islam? Yes. That is based on the situation. What's it's not today and not about now. Doesn't matter. It's the, Islam, Islam, when, is, is, Islam is what is given to Muhammad. Time You have to go... That is the problem with the people. People misrepresenting and misinterpreting the Islam message. But you, just said, but you just said, after I said to you, the Prophet they, said, they, I've been ordered. Saying that what was the con contents. My friend, you are the one who said to me, after I said to you, you are the one who answered. I said, your Prophet says, I've been commanded to slaughter all mankind unless they say that Allah is God and I am a Prophet. And you said, yes. So what mis misinterpretation and mispresentation? Muhammad, you mispresent Islam. You agreed. You said yes. Allah ordered Muhammad to slaughter all mankind. Okay, what kind of a prophet he want to slaughter all mankind just because they aren't Muslims? Look, you are a very knowledgeable person. You did lots of research and you are doing it. I'm just a normal person. I'm no not problem, a scholar. My friend, I'm trying to talk to you as an adult. I'm not attacking you. I'm not insulting yes. you. I'm having I'm a nice conversation with you. Hype me up. Okay, I'm helping you. No problem. So I'm, I'm talking to you. You are a smart person. And I'm asking you, like, in a, just a conversation. It's not a debate. So as long as Islam means peace, as you said in the beginning. But Muhammad yes. says, I'm going to kill everybody unless they convert to Islam. What is the peace in that? First, I have to know that why he kill, why he says that. And when he says he that, says that he said that clearly. He said why he said. I mean, you are saying to me, I need to know why he said that. He told you why he said. Unless they say that there's no God but Allah, and then they pay me the money, and then they pray as we pray, and then they slaughter as they slaughter, and we they they face the qibla, which means the Kaaba, and then if they do that, only if they do that, I will stop shedding their blood, and their property is protected. Uh, where it says can you give me the reference please i have to have a look i don't know no problem that. do you see my screen no uh, no I cannot see p because it's on my phone okay, I cannot okay. Show him i will i will, I will send you the link i will send the link there's many reference but i will show you the accurate uh, sahih correct ones and you can read it when you want oh okay. sorry for that anyway can you tell me the uh, statement again please if you don't mind, the prophet said, and I'm reading in front of, of us. He said, 
I have been commanded that I should fight against people till they declare that there is no God but Allah and when they profess that there is no God but Allah their blood and their richness granted protection in my behalf except where is justified by the law so Muhammad he says that this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 21 C and we can show you more hadith there's endless of them the Prophet he says yeah. Sahih Bukhari Sahih Bukhari is more authentic than Muslim I I'm sending you a link now in your Skype so later you can open them and you can take a look it says the messenger of Allah he said I've been ordered to fight the word fight here is coming from the word uqatil, which means fight to kill so I've been ordered to slaughter all mankind tell the people uh, tell the people say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and if they say so pray and pray like our prayer face the Qibla and slaughter as we slaughter which means not only you have to say the Shahada you have to pray as he pray you have even changed direction of the prayer and even the food you eat you have to slaughter as he slaughter and then only then their blood and their property will be sacred from us which mean Muhammad will not rape your wife will not take your children as slaves and he will not cut your neck only then Muhammad here saying if you don't do that I'm going to take your money I'm going to take your blood I'm going to rape your wife and I'm going to kill you as a man and yet you say to me Islam mean peace and all of this why because you are not saying Allah is God yeah true okay so how Islam is peace as you told me uh, I I didn't see anything wrong that see you stay I mean, what is the peace my friend what is the peace what do you mean we're wrong so now because you don't believe in Jesus can I go and kill him kill you and rape your wife is that okay for you you are saying it's okay no. okay so I, why, you're, I, why it's okay I, for I, the prophet why it's okay for the prophet to rape my wife to take my blood to take my property to take my children just because I don't want to believe in Allah you are saying it's okay there's no problem with that no that is not been saying that is in the different situation the circumstances no not situation he says I've been ordered to fight all the people all the people what situation your prophet is the one you follow and he is saying his message this is Islam Islam is I've been ordered to fight all mankind and kill them unless they do the following so what situation the situation is the following you say I Allah is know. God I have to know about that you knew about that you know the meaning and you know the hadith you gave me the source I will do some research and I will be back to you no problem take care uh, take care to be <laughs> and Islam is peace I feel sorry for those Muslims many of them they have no idea what they are talking about I feel sorry for you honestly I don't think you're a bad person I think you are just fooling yourself going in denial and you say what's wrong with that I mean what's wrong don't, don't you want to use your brain use it God he gave you brain and you know and the funny he says to me Islam in peace and then he agreed that the Prophet he want to kill everybody I mean do you see how much peace is that the Prophet he will rape your wife he will take your children he will take your money he will steal your house he will steal your property he will enslave your children and if you say shahada and do slaughter as he slaughter and you pay him money and then he will not kill you islam mean peace yet islam mean peace i feel sorry for you you are you are going in denial my friend you are trying to deny the fact and the madness and this guy is a criminal imagine now we say okay we are America we have the most powerful weapon America or Russia and now all of you we have 24 hours either you convert to Christianity or we are going to come and destroy you and take your money and blah 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 and then we say Christianity is peace and actually if the Muslims have the weapon which America have and, and, and Russia have trust me the whole the whole earth is, is going to convert to Islam in two days because either you convert or you die thank God they don't have those weapon and actually if they have this weapon the first thing they would do they will kill each other both of them now Sunni and Shia they are making weapon to fight each other because they hate each other Islam is peace
anyone who convert to Islam I say to you loud and clear you are just an idiot and you are a fool I don't decorate the words I say it as it is because how you follow such a man how you follow a man like this you tell me he's a thief he's saying to you your blood and your property so he will kill you he will steal your money and that supposedly is halal lawful what is lawful about it so a little farmer who live in China he have no idea he never harm anyone working in his farm Muhammad had the right to kill him take his wife take his children as a slaves slaughter him and take his land and his money and that's supposed to be from God somebody says to me let me show you what this guy said his name is a free bird he said when the angel of death <clears throat> When the angel of death come to you, you will cry. You will cry asking for forgiveness. For Allah. Uh, no, my friend. Do you know what I would do? I would do as Musa because I play karate. Is it true that your prophet, he said, that when the angel of death came to Moses Moses he broke his eye he took it off and he broke his wings huh how Allah if he will punish somebody He sent his angel, the angel of death, and he say B is going to be, which means you say die, he die. And then Allah, he sent his angel, and then Moses. He beat up the angel, and he take his eye off, and then the angel, he went back to Allah, and he said, you send me to a slave who don't want to die. Well, I am a slave, I don't want to die. Are you there? Read and love. This is your prophet in the story. Abu Huraira reported that the angel of death was sent to Moses, peace upon him, to inform him that his Lord summons. When he came to Moses, Moses boxed him. Moses, what? <laughs> Moses, he boxed the angel of death. And his eye was knocked out. He, the angel of death, came back to Allah and said, You send me to a servant who do not want to die. Allah restored his eye in its proper way. Boing. What is that? Allah he restored the eye of the angel back in its proper way. So the angel, he went to Moses because Allah sent him. And Moses don't want to die. I mean, what you can do about it? What you can do about it? You can do nothing. That's it. Allah, he sent an angel. Have you ever heard of an angel? He was sent by God. And then you hit him and you knock out his eye. Huh? You know what? I was going to apply to work as an angel of death, but after I saw this, I will never accept that job. So don't tell me about the angel of death. And since when 
you can change the day you want to die if Allah said to you you will die here and that's it you you beat the angel and you send them back and the angel you want and my eye look what you did to me and Allah says Habibi Habibi Allah is a Jew Habibi Muhammad Habibi Habibi angel what happened Habibi Oh, there is a mito Moses, and he the bit me in my eye here. I'm like, I'm in now, and he know he had no one. And uh, the Allah, he said, Okay, the angel, okay, lay down, lay down, and let me uh, get uh, some uh, uh, fast aid, uh, first aid, and uh, I will fix it for you. He put his eye back in the proper place where it was before. I mean, his eye was where after he beat him, it was in his nose, in his mouth, in his bum, where. His eye came out where? And you are you are threatening me that I will cry when the angel of death come? Must be a true story. So this is what you have for me? Angel of death. I thought you will find something better. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? <clears throat> Anyone? And not only that, you know, after that, Allah negotiated with Moses for how long he will live. He sent him back and he told him, okay, okay, you don't want to die? Okay, now put your hand in the top of this cow and, and, and you will live as many as the hair under the skin of your hand. You see it? I mean, have you ever heard of this? Oh, how long uh, Moses live? There's a million hair in, in the top of the cow, especially it's an ox. He lived as much? Do we have any Muslim? And by the way, for those who they are asking about the angel of death, he is fine right now. I just spoke to him yesterday. He is doing fine. His eye, like, he have some pain. He have like a red spot there, because Musa's, you know, Musa's is a Jew, and he was trained by the Mossad. And this is why that's explain why he was hitting really hard. You know, Musa's decided to die on a spot. <laughs> Listen what Qasim is saying. The angel came in the form on, uh, of a man. Let us call Qasim. Let us see what you want to say. <coughs> okay, Qasim, tell us what happened. Mute your two, please. Yep. Yeah, what happened, Qasim? Explain to us. So Allah, he sent his angel to Moses. Yeah, so he came, uh, he used to be, the angel of death used to come in the form of a man in the previous time. So he came in the form of a man. Wow. And so Moses this is in the didn't know the angel. This is, yeah, the, Moses the, didn't know the, the angel, so okay, he well, no, no, hold hit on. him. Where do you get this, this that uh, from the previous time? So after this day, the angel, he don't come as a man no more? Um, that's our understanding based on... Um, because he used to come in the physical form, so you can see him in the uh, like, uh, as a human. So, where, where do you get this from that the angel of death he come to you in a physical form and a physical a physical form of a man? From this narration itself. Where it says. He says his eye came out. What? He says his eye came out. Will Allah have eyes. No, he doesn't. No. Okay, Allah, guys, Allah don't have eyes. Okay, here we go. This is your, you your this is, hold on, hold on. You're a prophet. He says Allah is short and fat, and he have big ass, and he have two he have two eyes. Here we go. Let me show you. Oh. But don't tell me no. I'm talking to Christian Prince. Here we go. <laughs> that's your God. No, Jesus. that's not my God. This is your God. Here we go. This is your prophet saying that. Read it carefully, and I'm listening. Mr. 
Read, read. I'm listening. Go. You, you speak English better than me. Go ahead. Yeah, so he says, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal that I am afraid you may not understand. The anti Antichrist is short, hand toward, uh, woolly head, one eyed, and uh, eyes, uh, eyesightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not I. Uh, uh, your Lord is not one eyed. You said to me, Allah don't have one eyes. Yeah, your your prophet confirmed. Emphasis. Your prophet he confirmed. No, yeah. you see, your prophet he confirmed that the only difference between the antichrist and Allah is just the eye, and Muhammad is afraid that you Muslim you will be confused about how Allah look like because he look exactly as that man, and the only difference between them you should know how you can recognize him. You should know that your Lord is not one eye. So you said to me, Allah don't have an eye. You're a prophet. He say no. He have two eyes, and he have he look exactly the same as this guy. But the only difference between them and that guy is the eye. Right. So this is for emphasis. So it doesn't say uh, your Lord. Uh, it only says that your Lord does have one eye, meaning that the Jal will have. Uh, he's gonna have one eye, and he's also gonna have another eye. Yeah, but it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, but your prophet. But your prophet. He says. But your prophet. He said he's afraid. He's afraid that you might be confused, and he now he, yeah, is, he is. People can be confused. Okay, why, people... why you are comparing between Allah and the man, and why they will be confused about which one is Allah? Unless Allah is a man too. If I have no. two, if I have two character, one is an elephant and one is a rat. Why I am afraid that you might think that the elephant is a rat? No, the the fact of the matter is that. Uh, People in history have always, even though they had the concept of one God and uh, we can't comprehend God, they, they still took uh, a, a human as God. Even at the time after mm. the Prophet, there was people who took uh, certain figures uh, mm. as uh, God, the Muslim, and they were Muslims. But then obviously what does have to do with one God and two God? Now, this is not the topic. He is speaking about their look. He is, he is afraid that he told you too much about the Antichrist. And now he's afraid that you may not understand. Okay, understand what? He is comparing between the Antichrist. The Antichrist is a man, correct? Yeah, he's a man. Okay, he's a man. So why Allah is compared to a man and the difference between this man and Allah is one eye? If, it's Allah, is, hybrid. if Allah is not a man anyway, I mean, why we are going to compare between this guy and Allah? He should compare between this guy and the Messiah because in fact, there's no Antichrist in the story here. This is a false translation. It says Al Masih al Dajjal. So the false Messiah, the guy he is claiming to be the Messiah, he is not claiming to be Allah. So why Muhammad comparing between him and the look of Allah? He should compare between his look and the look of the Messiah. So the interpretation that's going to be given is that this is emphasis on that Allah does have any defect. But this is not the problem. He is saying he's afraid. He's afraid. He's afraid that you might understand about what? He's afraid that they might think that he is Allah. This is why he's comparing between him and Allah. He should compare. You see, the, the false Messiah, he claimed to be the Messiah. He is not claiming to be Allah, supposedly. So why Muhammad is afraid that you might misunderstood who is the false Messiah, telling you that Allah don't have one eye, while this person is one eye. So the whole story here is what to, to, to warn you that if you want to recognize which one is who, Allah, he look exactly like this man. But the difference between them, that Allah is not one eye. So your God is short. He have a big ass. He have a curly hair. He have. A, he's nope. a, it says that in the front of you. Why? Okay. Yeah, you okay hold that, on, hold what on. you're doing is you're deducing that. But it's I am not. I am not. Okay. Tell me why Muhammad is comparing the eyes of this man and the eye of Allah, and he is afraid that you will be confused. Confused about what? Right. So the, the what the Prophet is comparing is that your Lord does have a defect. So one eye is a defect. Well, thank you very much. Allah don't have a defect, guys. This is a good news. I mean, this is funny. So you are telling me that Allah don't have a defect. This is not the purpose because he can say Allah is perfect. And that's it. But why he is comparing between him and the man? How you, you Muslim, you say to us, Allah is not like anything. You just said to me just a, a, a 15 minutes ago, you said that. So Allah is unlike anything. So what it's mean to say Allah is not one eyed comparing him to a fat short man. Why need to compare him to a fat short man? So the Prophet, he gave like an example for us to relate to. 
Well, it's, it's relaying that look, this person will have a defect, but your law doesn't have any defect, so that's why the first thing he says one eye. Okay, so what, we, what, so what we learn from eyes, this right? now? So what we learn from this? This this person he have a defect. Allah don't have a defect. So what? But why he is comparing him to Allah? Is, is that an insult? When you compare a man to God and you say the difference between them is the eye. That's mean the other person, both of them, they are the same from the same kind, from the same equality. The only difference between them is an eye. With the jal, he's going to be able to bring the rain down. So, and he's going to be able to give life to to the dead. Okay. So, with all these uh, miracles. Okay, but is it, um, is it enough? Like, isn't it enough to see that he is a man to know that he is not Allah? If Allah is not a man and he is coming as a man, so we should know that this is not Allah, unless Allah is a man too. No, people can easily confuse him. That's that's the thing. Okay. So, that's so now, if a man he can bring rain from the sky, and uh, he have an eye which is a problem, that means he is the false messiah. Is that correct? Yeah. So he's a, he's a false okay. uh, messiah. What if this yeah. guy? What if this guy he go to Thailand and he fix his eye? Are you going to accept him? I mean, since when we know a person to be a false or not by the look of his eye, he can make a surgery. A person, according to your prophet, this person, he can cut a human being to pieces and he can put them together again. So he's extremely powerful. Can't he fix his yeah. eye? The one who cut a human being twice, he, he, he cut him by the sword and he make him two pieces and then he put him together. Can't he fix his eye? No, there's only certain things he can do. Oh, certain things like controlling the nature. I thought the one who can send down uh, rain is Allah. Yeah, so this is a test for the for the mankind. No, that's why Allah. Okay, Allah, hold on. Hold, uh, okay, are you, send it. are you saying to me that the the false Messiah is an employee of Allah? It's a test from Allah. This is not a question. Are you saying that Allah He sent him? He worked for him to deceive us. No, he's going to be a love is sending as a test. This, you see, you just keep saying to me, He sent him. <laughs> you keep saying to me, He sent him. Okay, as long as Allah is the one who sent the Dajjal, it's mean that the Dajjal, he is a shaitan, work for Allah. So, Allah also created the, the, the devil in your belief as well. No, now, no, no, hold on. My God, he created the devil as an angel. He did not create him to be a devil. He decided to be a devil. So God, well, your, God knew the, your God knew the future as well. My friend, oh. you, so what? Still we have, exactly. my God, hold on. My God, my God, my God, he knew Muhammad is an evil. He let him live the same as the shaitan. That's not changed a thing because in Christianity, we don't believe that God, he decided our destiny in Islam, you do. Now you just said to me that Allah, he sent the Dajjal. Who is the one who sent the Dajjal? Say it again. So obviously Allah uh, allows this person to have like, powers and all this. This is another question. Who is the one who sent the Shaitan, the Dajjal? It's, it's going to be a test. Um... This is another question. You see, you are trying to avoid the question. Who is the one who sent this false Messiah? You can say Allah is going to send it. Okay, so this the Jal is an is a is a messenger of Allah. No, it's, it's a test from Allah. You what won't do you call mean? a messenger because Allah there's no message you, he's going to deliver. If, if Allah, false, if Allah, he sent you. Listen, a second ago you said Allah is the one who sent him. As long as Allah is the one who sent him, that means he is a messenger of Allah. You don't become a messenger just based on the fact that something is being sent. That's a that's a very okay. but the second point. you say Allah he sent him that is mean this this creature this shaitan is obedient to Allah he's doing what Allah asked him to do so he's a good person <clears throat> no what do you mean no who is the one who sent him you said Allah if if I if I am a soldier and my the the, the king he sent me that's mean I work for that king because I'm doing and obeying him, he sent me to do something, and I'm doing what he said. <coughs> he's um, he's basically by by the nature itself, he's uh, evil. So he's been um, he's been created, and then he's, Allah allowed him to uh, appear My on friend, Earth. It's not allowed him. You said to me, everybody heard you. 
that Allah He sent him. Correct? Technically, yeah, but uh, okay, not technically. No, he sent him. Did he send him or not? Um Send him in what way? What do you mean? Send to deceive him in what us? Way? To deceive us? You said to us, it's a, it's a, it's a, 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 it's a trial. Allah, He sent him as a trial, correct? Yeah, the test. Yeah. Okay, so the Antichrist is a good person. He worked for Allah, and his job is to deceive us. So the bad person is Allah. No, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is, he's going to be born number one, and so he's going to. Doesn't matter. Uh, Allah doesn't matter. This is, gonna... this is the plan of Allah. Allah have a plan to create this person. He, he will send him, and his job is to deceive us. So if the one, the one who send send uh, like, okay, I send someone to put poison in your food, but I did not put it in my hand directly. The one who put poison in your hand in, in your food is the one who killed you. But the fact, the one who sent him to do that, he killed you too. So Allah is the devil. No, that, that's that's very weird. Okay, let saying me it. ask you. Let me ask you. Do Allah send shayateen to deceive us? Um. Uh, what do you mean send? Like did he? Don't tell me what do you mean. I'm asking you. Do Allah send shayateen to deceive us? Is either you say yes or you say no? This is what it means. Do Allah send shayateen to deceive us? Uh, I'm not sure. Who is the one who sent shayateen? Do shayateen work for himself or he work for Allah? They don't. They don't work for uh, you know Allah. They work for who? Uh, they work. They work for the iblis. Okay, and who is the one who sent iblis to deceive us? Is that Allah? No, Allah did not send him. Okay, so if if there is somebody sent Shaitan to deceive us, do you agree that he is evil and he is bad? No. Nope. Uh huh. So, guys, do you see? Because he's afraid, I'm going to show him something, and he will be sorry. So he just admitted that if the somebody sent Shaitan to deceive us, he is not bad. So why Shaitan is bad? If he is sent by the one, someone to deceive us, why the one who deceive us is as bad, but the one who sent him to deceive us is not bad? <laughs> Because it, de it depends why why the devil being sent in the first place. Why he sent? Uh, I'm asking you. He sent to the, what is the job of the devil to deceive us? Correct. The bigger picture to it. Yeah, okay. there's a big picture to it. Allah is a big picture. To no, this for, is not. For, no, this is not about picture. Or small picture. You know what I'm talking about. If if the one if that shaitan do that shaitan deceive us by his will or it is Allah will, he sent him to deceive us. The shaitan does it by like it's his choice. His choice. Are you sure? Yeah, that's his choice. Like he he decides that he believes he's the one who. Um, mm. But Allah knew this that that's gonna happen. Mm. So just like in your belief, okay, your God knew that. Let us see happen. if you are truthful or not. This is the Quran. It says that Allah He made for every prophet enemies. He appointed for every prophet shaitan. Who is the one who appointed shaitan? Allah. You say to us, lying. Sorry to say that, that it is not Allah who sent shaitan to deceive us. You said it's by his choice. But the Quran says, thus have we appointed into every prophet an enemy from the devil and the mankind. Yeah, so how does he appoint it? That's the question. So is he... He appointed he, them. Appoint, um, you see, like, did he, my did he friend, create stop, and then, stop playing you know. games. When he, I say appointed, it's mean I give command. He is the one in charge. He is the one who sent the devil. So Allah, he sent the devil to deceive people. And he here even speaking about sending shaitans targeting his prophet Muhammad. Is that correct? Okay, so so the meaning of appointed is that basically decided beforehand or de 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 um, said, what is it? designated. So it's basically Allah decided beforehand. Okay, what, so here we go. Appointed. So I said to you, if if shaitan is doing what Allah want, why we think shaitan is bad? The fact the real shaitan is Allah. Because if shaitan coming to me, he sent by Allah. And that means shaitan is a good person obeying Allah. He is a victim. In the court of law, if a soldier receives an order from his captain to shoot somebody, 
the one who should be taken to the court is the one who gave the order not the soldier because a soldier he have no choice so according to the Quran shaitan is a soldier of Allah and he is a good person the real devil is Allah for he is the one who decided to deceive even his prophets no so with the devil he's uh, by uh, by the nature itself is uh, he's evil so with, friend, uh, with the, Allah the he's, devil, the, he's the one who appointed if him the, if the, uh, what what, what by his nature who is the one who appointed him Allah so it's not his nature who appointed him because if this is by the nature then the devil should not need Allah to do his, his job but what the verse saying that it is us it's our our command to appoint to every prophet shaitan shayateen not only yeah, but in your in your belief you got the same thing you, no, we you don't. can't be a hypocrite, hypocrite on this no we don't my friend shaitan he was created as an angel and he refused to obey god and willingly yeah, but your, didn't your god know the future there's a, matter, you know see, that, that's there's a huge difference between god he made him shaitan to be evil you see i can say okay god created evil but he did not create really evil by creating evil he created angel and that angel decide by free will to be an evil person but here Allah created shaitan and he gave him a job and he worked for him which means shaitan is a good person in Islam let me ask you let me ask you uh, let me ask you do you go to heaven because of your belief and your deeds uh, by the mercy of Allah ultimately it's going to be by, so the, what mercy do you mean by the mercy is that by the mercy or by the destiny uh, what do you mean okay when Adam he commits sin did he commit sin or Allah he made him commit sin? Uh, Adam did commit sin. He committed a mistake. He made a mistake. Okay. Is that was a choice or Allah he forced him to commit sin? Um, yeah, that was his choice. He made a mistake uh, by choice. By choice. Hmm. Yeah. So your prophet is lying then. How? Because your prophet, he said no. Your prophet, he okay. said. Your prophet, he said. That Adam and Musa they have a debate, and Musa he blame Adam for his sin. <clears throat> so uh, Musa he said to him, "Because of you, you are, we are out of heaven. We are miserable." So Adam he said to him, "Do you blame me for a destiny created for me? Allah this the, the, the designate for me." 40 years before my creation right so what adam was saying was that this was going to happen anyway no but, uh, see oh, hold on hold on you said to me that adam he did it by choice adam saying do you blame me which means you cannot blame me do you blame me for which allah for an action which allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation so the decision of making sin in islam is the decision of allah Allah, he made us sinners. He is the devil. So Adam saying, you cannot blame me for the sin because the whole debate is what? You, because of you, you made us out of heaven. Adam said, do you blame me? Which means you cannot blame me. Allah, he wrote my sin before he created me. It's a destiny. And then your prophet, he took the side with, with Adam against Moses. And even he repeated the same three times as usual. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Which means, yes, Adam's sin. It's not his sin. It is the sin of Allah. Allah is the devil and Adam is a victim. So with the regards to humans, we don't have uh, absolute free will. So we have uh, different so, things. So why we will go to hell? Okay, thank you. So guys, we don't have a, free, a, a, a absolute free will. We don't even any free will. He will go 40 years before his creation. We do have free will, okay, but hold on. So we cannot blame Adam for his sin. So we blame who? No, it's, there's no, there's no blame. It was supposed to happen like this, and okay, and it supposed was to happen. So, so why we blame me for my sin? If I no commit adultery, if I do adultery. Can Allah blame me for adultery I do or I blame Allah? Yeah, it's, it's the blame was upon you because you, you've got free will to do this. Where do you get this from free will? You keep raping you. Are you sure you're a Muslim? Yep. Okay, let's see what your prophet said. Your prophet said that every adulteress Allah, he gave him, his he, written, he wrote for him the exact fixed portion of adultery. Read with me. Abu Huraira reported that Allah apostle is saying, Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery 
which a man will in, in, in indulge which mean it's it's a fixed Allah he decide for you why well, you say to me you blame yourself Allah he, he he decide how much adultery I will do it's not a choice so look at this madness cult Allah before he created us he decide okay Christian Prince he will sleep with the 50 women and then Allah said kill a Christian Prince because he sleep with 50 women who is the stupid here so because Allah knows the future so he this uh, is not knowing the future. Read, 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 carefully. So read, read carefully this is not knowing the future this is a decision made by Allah about how much we will do this is not knowing read carefully Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge it's not a choice and which he necessity must commit do you see it necessity must commit it is not a choice necessity yeah so because it's uh, uh what do you call it, it's a most that uh, they have to commit is because uh because allah knows the future so it's not allah the future it says he wrote for you a fixed portion portion it is not the future which necessity must commit he's talking about even the future he will commit because he allah he wrote it for you okay let me show you this step play, you know keep playing games people are laughing a child who is born as a baby he is one day old. He will go to heaven or to hell. The child would go to so the child would go to um, heaven or, or he will have a test. Some scholars have said that he's going to have a test on a child. He will have a age. test. One day old, he will have yeah. a test. <laughs> he's, he's going to be. Uh, he's going to. Allah will make him age forward, so he's going to have a test. Then. That's a good one, my friend Aisha. She said to the Prophet after attending a funeral where a child who was an infant he died. She said to him, this child, he will be a child of paradise, bird in the paradise. And Muhammad, he says, it might be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. So why the child will go to hell? Because Allah, he wrote their destiny when they are in the backbone of their father. Read carefully. So this is a destiny. This has nothing to do with sin. Allah, he wrote his sin or his, let us say, whatever destiny he have to go to hell or to go to heaven before he created them. So it doesn't matter he is a child who commits sin or not. Read carefully. Aisha, she said, Allah Messenger, there's a happiness for this child who is a bird from paradise. For it commit no sin, nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. This is the opinion of Aisha, and I agree with her. He said, Aisha, per adventure, it might be the otherwise. Otherwise? What is the otherwise? What do you think? Yeah, so so um, from this narration, well, I've read this before as well. So what he says basically is that um, the the prophet the prophet is acknowledging he doesn't know what's going to happen to him. So he because he he's he, he's only going to say what no, what no, is no, no, no 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 no. We know what will happen to him because simply, if everyone he will pay for his sin, and this child he paid no he did no sin. So why he will pay to go to hell? Hell is for those who commit sin. So what do you mean we do not know? Allah told us. Everyone, everyone will pay for his sin, but this child he did not commit sin, neither he reached the age of sin. So, we don't mean we do not know. And then he says, It may be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. But the guy is dead, he's a child, he's a baby, he's an infant. What otherwise? Read carefully because God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they were yet in their father backbone and he created for hell those who to go to hell while they're in their ba father back so you go to hell decision is made when you are not created yet you commit sin or not you are a baby one day old or not it doesn't matter that's what your prophet saying so he says here that he says here that um the prophet said it may be otherwise so he says it may be so that's not certainty so we don't know so what's going to no problem it may be the otherwise because why because Allah he created you to go to hell or to heaven when you are in the backbone by the way the child doesn't come from the backbone this is a mistake from Muhammad scientific mistake but however he decided your where you will go your sin have nothing to do with it the child he commit no sin he's a baby and Aisha, she confirmed that. She said, there's a happiness for this child who is a bird from paradise, for it commit no sin, nor has reached the age when can commit sin. 
So this is a very pure bird, little child who die. Yet Muhammad is saying, well, you are wrong. Because Allah, he make a decision where people will go to hell or to heaven before even he created us, which means Islam is a stupid cult. It doesn't matter really what you do in your life. Allah, he made the decision already. Do you agree? No, so it does matter because within that, um, what's the, the creed is Allah give us. Um, okay, let me uh, ask you. Freedom. Okay, let us, let us solve this problem. If you are a person who pray to Allah five days a week, five, five times a day, all your life and uh, fasting Ramadan and even going to jihad etc are you going to go to heaven or no do Allah promise you yeah. heaven yeah if you do that then Allah has promised the paradise so we okay. have hope well, you're but you're that, a, that's not binding on Allah you're a prophet have different opinion you're a prophet he said the following read with me carefully you're a prophet said that a person he might do the people of heaven. Let us show you the heaven. Yeah, and then his last action might be bad, and then he's going to go. Yeah, but his last action is what? Is what Allah written for him, correct? That's his own choice he made. No. Stop lying. Shame on you. It says in the front of us. The, okay, read with me, please. We, we have three okay, 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 read with me. Okay, read with me, please. Okay. Uh, here it says, then the soul is breathed into him, etc. And then he swear by Allah saying, And by Allah, a person among you may do the deeds of people of fire till there is one only one cubit or an arm distance between him and fire. Okay, this guy is not praying, he don't do jihad, he is a friend to the Christians, which is haram. Uh, he eat pork. He don't rape women, which is a haram not to rape women. So he don't do all the bad things which Islam Allah told him to do, and that will go to take him to hell. But then, look what it says. But then, that is written which Allah ordered the angel to write. Proceed, and he does the deed of people of paradise, and he enter it. So what will make you go to paradise? Is that your deed or what Allah wrote for you? So, so the writing is basically Allah showing his knowledge. So when you wrote in the uh, law, big fat liar, this is showing his knowledge. You liar, what knowledge? But then the writing of Allah will proceed. The guy is doing the opposite. This is his free will. The person doing his opposite, he will go to hell. He's almost there, almost in the door. Then what is written by Allah proceed. That was written by Allah, not knowledge. Allah write for you before He created you what will what you will do. This is not knowledge, liar. And He's showing you the opposite. A man he will do the, de the, the deeds of people of paradise. Till there is only one cupid or two between him and paradise, and then what is written, proceed. What is written. This is the will of Allah. And he does the deeds of people of fire and he enter it. So going to heaven or to hell, it is what by Allah written. And this is why Islam is the most stupid cult ever. So you convert to Islam, you don't convert to Islam. You say pray, you don't pray. It's a garbage. Because at the end of the day, it's what Allah he wrote for you. <laughs> he did not say what Allah knows. He said what Allah written for him. Stop. Shame on you. Do you see how they play like a snake? I mean, look how clear, clear the evidence. Yeah, this is Allah knowledge. This is not Allah knowledge. He's shown you two different directions. One is doing the deeds of bad, and the one is doing the deed of good. Allah, at the end, what he wrote for you is going to take over. And this is one of the belief at the pillars of Islam which is to believe in Allah destiny. This is destiny. So if you are a donkey, this is your business, if you can't understand. Donkey, maybe you don't understand, but a human, you should understand. It is not your deed will take you to heaven in Islam. It is what's written by Allah. This is why a child who is born a baby, who never commit a sin, still he might go to hell 
because it is what written for him it's not about a sin he did and the funny he said that a child He's a baby, infant. Allah will give him a test. <laughs> what he will give him a test? He will give him milk and and uh, and wine. <laughs> How you can give an infant a test? <laughs> hey, infant, do you like pepperoni or the nipples of your mom? Okay, you fail. Take him to hell. He said he want the pepperoni. This is made by the uh, by, by the Western. It's haram. This is the test for the infant. Infant. What a crazy cult. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Don't forget, please, to download the video. I know we have more than a thousand people listening, but this is English. If you like to learn more, Feel free to get my books. You can search for them in whatever language you speak in your Amazon or your country. In Amazon, you can search for Christian Prince and you will see the list of my books based on your language. Uh, if you live in America, you can search Amazon.com, France, Germany, etc. And you will see it in your language. We have in Spanish, we have in uh, uh, Swedish, Dutch, German, French, and more to come soon Russian and uh, other languages so I want to say thank you guys for being here I hope we learned something good for today as you see Islam is a very silly stupid cult and you have to be really a person who decide to to go blind to believe in such a madness it's violence it's hateful it's, it is it, it's a divided human being Quran forbid Muslims to take non-Muslims as a friend chapter 5 verse 51 chapter 9 23 chapter 3 verse 28 many verses all of it is nothing but division of the devil God is about love not about hate and we love the Muslims we don't want to hate them and we should not hate them they need our help love is not to be fought love what bring people together if you see a Muslim and need your help help him don't do what they do. There's many people, they speak good, they do evil. And that's what Islam is about. You listen to them, you think they are speaking good. But the fact Islam teach nothing but evil. It's an evil cult. They color it, they sugarcoat, but that will not work. Even with ants. And we are better. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. Take care.